Hello! Welcome back to Side Quest. We are raising money for charity water. I'm Love Sources Girl. You may also know me as Loves, LHG, or Alyssa, and this is Stardew Valley. Joining me here today is my good friend Rob. Hello. We have on donations Zach. Yeah, what's going on? Bright and early, 8 in the morning, just like real firmers, crack of dawn to raise some money for charity. Love it. And commentating, we have Mojo. Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or evening, or night, or wherever you are in the world. Welcome. Glad to have you. Glad to be here. Thanks for letting me be a part of your magic, Loves Horses Girl. Of course. I'm so happy to have you here, Mojo. Okay, so this run of Stardew Valley is a little bit different than you might be expecting because we have a ton of mods. A ton of mods. Um... I'm not going to even try and go into all of that, but uh, what you can see right off the bat, um, the grass is flowery. <laughs> um, in the lower left-hand side of my screen here, I have a little skills bar, which I can turn on and off with the handy little button X. It lets us know how we're doing on all of our different skills. We can see ourselves level up through the day even if we don't get the bonuses yet. Also, during this run, we have a ton of crazy incentives because we want you to make us be chaotic. So, for $10, you can speed up or slow down the time. I have that ability. I can make time go really fast like this, or really slow like this. I also have this handy little button to set it back to normal, which it also happens to be the Let's Build Something Instantly button, which is a little bit unhelpful, but it works. So, that is a $10 donation. For $15, you can have us change the quality of a tool. So, say we're going about our day just watering our crops, and you're like, oh, I want to be nice and give them a better watering can. I want it to be gold instead. Guess what? We've got one now. But maybe, maybe... We're going through our day, and we're we're chopping a bunch of trees with our, our newly upgraded axe, and you're like, I want this to be harder. Well, with a donation of just $15, you can just tell us to use the basic one again, and that's what we have to do. We can also, in, in the cheats menu here, we can just get rid of the extras. For $20, you can disable a tool for a single day. Um, we're watering our crops, and you don't want us to do that anymore. Mm, can't use the watering can anymore. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> we also have, for $30, you can have us use only the rusty sword for the day. So, um, you want to torture us? You can do that. <laughs> for $40, we have to stop whatever we're doing and go to Robin's to build a well, because that is the same amount that it takes charity water to build one well so you it's can make so us clever. do that in the game as well great for $50 yeah. we explode and I will we, we will demonstrate this one for free here <laughs> Rob do you want to you want to go ahead and explode oh, I'm so excited I can't see where you put that this is dangerous okay yay we cleared <laughs> spot for our crops <laughs> Hey, can you can you blow up if you're in the if you're in the blast radius? Yes, it hurts. Oh, wow, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> yes, yeah. it, yes, you take damage. Oh no, do you take damage in real life? I mean, this isn't the Matrix. <laughs> hey, I don't know. This game looks pretty wild. I don't know. It could be. It kind of kind of hurts us a little bit, like like our our oh. heart to explode. Your soul. Yeah. yeah, I get it. Also, for sixty dollars. Zach will make up a punishment on the spot. And I'm learning about this game live and in living color in front of all of you, so I'm sure I'll come up with some weird stuff just because I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> so, sure. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. We also have for one donation of $75. We will go buy an animal and name it after you. And then our, our big incentive for the run, if we get... $1,000 throughout the span of this run, so that will be at $11,300. We will take a, a little detour and go to the hardest place in the game, the Skull Caves, 
with only whatever we have on us, and also all of your punishments will be active. Please. I'll be honest, I have, to, <laughs> I have to tell the people, I'm just amazed that there is something called the, the Skull Caves in this game, because, like, I'm familiar with, you know, Zelda games and games like, I don't know, Diablo or whatever, where you fight the devil. Like, of course, there's skull caves and that type of thing. But I really thought this was just a casual, like, farming simulator where gameplay was like, you go harvest your corn and then you go harvest your beans or whatever. Like, I didn't know you were, like, fighting skull devils or something. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is why, man. I want to go to the skull caves, dude, because I'm not going to go look it up on my own time. I want to go here. With, I want to go there with all you guys. So let's get there. <laughs> Yes. I have never seen the Skull Cave. I've only ever seen this game played in vanilla. Oh. <laughs> well, Skull Caves, you can usually get there. It just normally takes until about year two. We're going to probably get there second week if you guys donate for it. Man, we're really, <laughs> really rushing in, aren't we? I feel like we are. <laughs> well, it's already the afternoon of day one, so. Yes, and we're starting on day five specifically, so the uh, regular mines are available. So if we don't feel like fishing all day, you guys have something interesting to look at. I also, we went ahead and planted our, our starting parsnips here, and Mayor Lewis was kind enough to gift us each 15 parsnip seeds to get us started. So that's what we have going on here. Let's let's open our mail here. Starting ah, so parsnip. this is uh, a... A modded um, vendor here, the Ferngill Florist Association. They like to send us recipes, like, every day. So they That's say, awesome. we appreciate your efforts in improving life in the valley and hope you'll accept this gift. It is a recipe for a potted dandelion. Their That's recipe the shop is now also open for business. They they set up shop where Alex's ice cream stand is whenever he's not doing the ice cream stand, which is every season but summer. Is it because it's cold? No one wants ice cream. Probably. <laughs> Something about that. Um, Robin is thanking us for a coop upgrade, which we, um, we, we built some barns and coops so you guys could have animals named after you. So um, we'll, we'll take a little walk down the farm here. Ah, Hatch Mouse is here. Hi! Tour time, tour time. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, tour time. Hat Mouse says, Hi, me sell hats. Okay, Poke? Come to old, old, old house, Poke. Bring coins, Hatch Mouse. I don't, I don't like that person. <laughs> it's, it's not a person, it's a mouse. It is that a mouse. It. Now I am sorry. <laughs> oh, I understand. <laughs> Willie wants us to come meet him because he's back from a fishing trip and wants us to give, wants to give us this thing right here, bamboo fishing pole. Which, by the way, I have a fishing mod installed, so it looks a little bit different than you might be used to. Hey, quick question. Yeah. This person gave you a recipe for a potted dandelion. Does that really need a recipe? It, don't you just like maybe I don't know anything about farming, but don't you just put like the dandelion in the pot and like there you go. It looks oh, like you have, to, you have to make a pot and you have to make some some peat moss out of wood. Yeah. They don't, have, they don't have Walmart in this game. Got it. You got to make the pot. All right. All right. No, they cool. don't have Walmart in this game. They have Joja Mart. Yeah, and that's the big bad enemy. <laughs> not, that's not intuitive to say. I don't like that. Joja. That's not catchy. That's not catchy. Joja. I was like, hang on. What's the name of it? It's Joja Cola. Yeah. That's the only way I can remember. Because <laughs> Sam, the skateboarder, loves Joja Cola. He does. Right. Hey, you know, he probably would. He probably would. It's like RC Cola. <laughs> and it, um, it is an exact analogy, Zach. Yeah. Yeah. So here we have a letter from uh, Joja Mart. They, they, um, they would like to say, Our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drill drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to initiative L61091, Jojo Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Yes, from Morris, the Jojo Customer Satisfaction Representative. Look, Thank so you. I'd like to remind you that if the second word of a letter you receive is, by the way, this is completely legal, it's not. It's not. It's for sure, <laughs> right? I would right? Like to inform you of that. So, <laughs> for any future letters you receive. Yeah, 
please, please don't do that. So around our farm here, we have our little starting area, which is our actual farm area. We didn't do much today, but that's okay. This this is our friend Rob's house here. Taking a walk over here, we have a little bit of tree land. We have a, a route up to the mountain up here. We have a cave here, which isn't supposed to be set up this early in the game, but because I had to spawn some money to build the barns, we have it set up. <laughs> Is it mushrooms? Please it, be mushrooms. It is mushrooms. I love mushrooms. <laughs> nice. Mushrooms Ooh, have not grown yet, mountain. but soon there will be... Burn. Sorry, Zach, what was that? We're do well, I, we have mushrooms already. I didn't know. I thought mushrooms took a while. They, clearly they do. Yeah. They, they, they take 24 in-game hours, I think. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, it's some, still kind of like fast. That. Yeah. So there will be some morels in there, and there will be some chanterelles in there, some fancy stuff. We also have this broken down old greenhouse over here. Up this way over here, we have the shrine from Grandpa. Hi. Wait for my return on the dot of your third year. Grandpa. He, he's dead. So, yeah, Zach. <laughs> uh -huh. So the reason you live on a farm is because you were trapped in a, in a corporate hellscape of uh, a cubicle. And your grandfather died and left you the farm. And you decided to leave your cubicle and pursue the out of doors because of vitamin D and variety. Go pursue a bohemian lifestyle away from a corporate hellscape. That's that's incredible. Exactly. Yep. So do, so if Grandpa's dead, why did he leave me a note saying he's coming back? Is he some kind of grand old sage wizard? Or is... I ha I haven't seen past year one. I don't know what happens. <laughs> I hope Grandpa descends from heaven in a chariot of fire and like whisks everyone away to a better life or something like that. I hope I hope Grandpa is like the canonical god in the book in the Bible or something like that. Well, he already whisked you away to a better life. Why wouldn't he do it for other people? Exactly. That's my logic. Speaking Grandpa of whisking people you. away to a better life, we can whisk water over to some people by donating to Charity Water. An example of that is Ames, who donated $15 before we went live. Didn't have a comment, but their donation still went to Charity. Thank you so much, Ames. Thank you. What are you doing? What is that? She's fishing. That is fishing. Oh. So, and no. she did it perfectly. Yeah. That's not what fishing looks like. <laughs> that is what fishing looks like in Stardew Valley. Hold on, I need to see what's going on here. This, there's a pulley system. I guess that is kind of how fishing works. Yeah, that is exactly how this works. So, um, All right, Rob, with this mod, we I... can actually see what fish it is that we're catching. So right here we have a smallmouth bass. How do you know that? By well, the shape one, and color. It's it's up in the uh, upper left-hand corner of my screen. It has the little um, pictures oh, with right. the names. Your statistics. You that have 28% is... of one bass. Cool. Yes. So with, with each catch, that is... Oh, hello. I'm not going to catch this guy. This is a catfish. Uh, is that... Le oh, I was like, is that the legendary? No, he... Oh, no, so no. So you got to line it up. You got you to keep him in that little in that little jar. The little yes. mini ball. The little juggly thing. Okay, cool. A little jello thing have to keep it in a little green bar. That is how you catch a fish. Some of them are very wiggly, and um, with this bamboo <laughs> pole and no fishing experience, that little green bar is very small. And I don't know, you're doing a pretty good job for, for your character, having never fished before. They're kind of a natural. Yeah. I may have over, like, 1,200 hours in this game. <laughs> so many. It's a Any, lot of hours. Anybody... Anybody playing bingo in the chat? Um, my cat is here now. For for a pet has arrived. Oh, I was gonna say, Aww. is that a bingo card? Is your cat a, is your cat a bingo space? My, my my cat named Bingo. No, actually, her name is Cat. This is Neko. I like Aww. I like Bingo as a cat name. Actually, <laughs> I think I might, I might use that. In my next cat or goldfish or something, you know. Yes. Considering... And then you can sing the song. Considering it is now midnight in game, we are going to head to sleep and have a more exciting day tomorrow. You just started. Rob, you have to go to bed or Alyssa <laughs> can't go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is true. So right. I was just finishing my last fish. All good. <laughs> Rob, she can't sleep if you don't sleep. <laughs> it, and isn't it 2 o'clock in the morning where you just fall asleep where you are and somebody loots your pockets? Yep. <laughs> that that I've fallen asleep where I was at two AM in real life too, so that makes a lot of sense. It's the most realistic mechanic I've seen yet. Yeah, right. Okay. I just want to fawn over how good 
Organics avatar is again. It like, looks just like it. It looks just like, like it. Like when he was fishing earlier, that's what I was going to say. It's like, oh, Rob's fishing. I can tell because that looks exactly like Rob. I, I, exactly. I've made this exact avatar like six times. <laughs> I know, but every time it works. I've seen robust <laughs> character creation systems where I couldn't make a character that matched the person that well in real life. <laughs> like very robust 3D like imaging, all these things. Uh, speaking of speaking of 3D images, Mojo is your cat 3D. Uh, yeah. Well, cool. Well, Nucktuck donated three dollars twenty one cents to say hi to your cat. Yay! Neko, someone says hi. I was really hoping. I was hoping that she was going to respond in English. That's how. <laughs> she just goes, "Oh, thank you for your donation." <laughs> she says, "You could feed me dinner now. Breakfast is out of my bowl." Oh, <laughs> really? Just the speed run in the day. I respect the the nerve of your cat there. Oh goodness, this is this is her mo. It yeah. is. Oh, you wanted to get up? Too bad, I'm sleeping in your lap. Like, and then what? also, I I see that you're eating. Does that mean that I'm eating? You mean I only eat two times a day, and you eat three times a day? Well, that seems like I'm I'm getting the I'm short, getting the short end, end of that deal. Oh. Yeah, the short end of the nip there. Cats do love their food. You know, I'm really loving... I was thinking this when you guys... When you're, like, introducing everybody. We, we have this, like, vibe going right now that reminds me a little bit of, like, The View or, like, Good Morning America where everyone's really, like, saccharine, sweet, and chipper and happy to make up for the fact that it's 8 in the morning. Uh, and it's it's just really good. It's, I, when I who's saccharine? I think everyone else is just legitimately adorable. I think you're the one putting in a little bit of effort if... If you if you insist on using that, I think that we're just having wholesome morning times. Are you saying I'm not naturally sweet and adorable, Mojo? I'm, I'm saying that you said saccharine, so you get to claim that word. Fair play. I think I think I think I'm Splenda. Oh God, <laughs> can I be equal? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the yellow one is, I think I'm sucralose. I'm, I'm left-handed, and I'm twice as sweet as actual sugar. So. Hold up, is sucralose canonically left-handed? Yeah. It's, it's it is the left isomer of sucrose. That's why it's called sucralose. Wow, then you know chemistry. Like, let me push push up my glasses. I look like Harvey. So much, that was <laughs> that makes so much more sense. Like I was ready <laughs> to say some like dumb random thing in response to that, but instead you hit me with real science to explain your joke. I'm sorry <laughs> slash you're welcome. <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm absolutely floored right now. <laughs> Zach is stevia. Is Chillamag's left-handed? We are the same person. Like really? Mags, Mags and I are the same person. It's incredible. Well, I mean, I've I've known you for a lot longer, but I think you're both really cool. So I'll I'll endorse it. I accept. That's, I I'm flattered that Mags was like, I think I'm you, and I'm like, I, I that that's high praise. Indeed. Yeah, Holy cool. smokes! Sweet. I think I think that being getting to be re- compared to you is, is an incredible compliment. Thank you for headbutting me in the headphones. Thank you, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Stina started our donation system with 40 bucks and said, stop, well time. That's one well. Gotta I, build a well. Let's go it's build well a well. I we stopped to... buying seeds. Pierre, thank you. Pierre runs the small shop in town and is the competition is the wrong word for it. But Joe Jamart is here and they have uh, lower prices. But Pierre has that like personal community investment touch. It's like it's like if. If uh, Charity Water sent in people from America to do their projects, it would be like Joe Jamart showing up and just doing things. But Pierre being invested in the community and a member of the community and and visible as as representation of the community, showing up and doing the project, say in sub-Saharan Africa, somebody like say in Nigeria, there's a project, actual Nigerians will go and get paid to do the labor to install the well. And also will show up and show all those kids who are suddenly going to get a chance to get an education and get, you know, not have to walk to get water eight hours every single day. We'll get to see like, hey, people in my community are giving back to my community. These people that come to take care of us look like me. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the really the strengths of Charity Water that I think is so, so cool. Absolutely. Get that personal community touch because, I mean, it's like. It's like when I'm decorating my house, you know, I want to decorate my house. I don't want to pay someone else to come decorate my house. I want to have that personal touch so it feels like home. And that's what that's what that does. And it's really great. 
Lost highly in 10 bucks saying happy gaming. It sure is, buddy. <laughs> Hi, right. Abigail. Do we want to speed up or slow down time? Ah, yes, but you are the expert here. I do, don't. I still don't know what's happening, so I think you know what is appropriate in this circumstance. Let's see. I will make it faster. I also think it was not set back to default because I believe default's like seven, so there we go. <laughs> I'm going to continue buying seeds like now. <laughs> is there a setting where 10 minutes feels like six hours? Because that's more accurate to real life. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> also, as you can see in this um, shop here, you got I a lot of plants. A lot of plants available. <laughs> and that's that's not year one plants. What's happening? Well, these are year one plants. <laughs> these are not the year two plants. We also have some spices in the mix here. We can make a bunch of cool stuff with things that we don't yet have access to. Oh, look, Stevia is here. We were just talking about sweet things. I yeah. have a tendency to go overboard with the seeds, so I'm going to try and go a little bit less overboard so I have a little bit of energy for anything else. Also, as you can see here, um, we get meat in a very wholesome way in this game by growing it on plants. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I was just about to ask about that, because I saw beef vine seeds, and I was going to make a joke about, oh, so you're telling me a cow just pops out of the out of the plant? And then I saw bison seeds, and I realized that's basically exactly what happens. Yeah. Cows are only for hugging and milking. Exactly. You don't get to eat them. <laughs> we, that's we absolutely get to, lovely. We I, get to eat the beef uh, plant. <laughs> We're in a we're in a future where like lab grown meat has taken taken hold of the community. I think that's that's fantabulous. I love that. Yeah. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna plant these seeds. I have some basil seeds, parsley seeds, spinach seeds, uh, shaded violet seeds, violet seeds because I, apparently I forgot that I had already bought violet seeds. <laughs> well, what's are they different? Is they're they're shaded violet and they're regular violet. Two they're different slightly months. different shades of purple. <laughs> This stuff matters, all right? <laughs> you almost have enough to make parsley pesto. Yeah. It also looks Very like nice. uh, Rob pesto may have pasta. found some wild rice seeds. So they are planted here. They technically don't need watering, but I will probably instinctually water them every day anyway. Because we like to water our plants. We like our plants alive. What the heck is that? What are you planting? Ah, uh, that What's was all the violets? violets that I was planting. It's not purple. Some someone <laughs> upgrade her watering can, please. <laughs> it would be nice. I think after get... this, maybe I'll head into the mines to make things a little bit more interesting to look at. Is there a way to get like a nerf gun, like a super soaker? Um, not entirely, but the iridium water can does do a lot of watering in one go. You do have to charge it up a little bit, but it 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 gets your watering done now. I want, I want like a 12 gauge shotgun full of water. That's what I'm going for here. You know, we can't know quite. That... How, how do much that. for an iridium? Zach, huh. you're the first time it's sixty dollars. You have to you have to make her get an iridium sprinkler. Oh, absolutely, I will. That sounds like that sounds lethal. I feel like if I <laughs> giving someone iridium sounds like a like a way to kill them. <laughs> Not quite. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google iridium because I don't know if that's real. Unless Mojo I, knows. Mojo I, knows. I, I, I think it's uh I think it's the in the same family as adamantium. I thought you were gonna say adamame. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Oh, I need the Zach in the morning. This is spectacular. <laughs> Thank you. Um iridium is the seventy seventh element on the on the periodic table. It's it's platinum. It's like platinum. Yes. Um, it is very strong. I have almost no energy, but we're going to the mines anyway. Wish me luck. Yeah, new, she, she needs a Joja Cola. I do. Someone I'm, feed I'm her. Look, I'm currently leaving the mines with zero energy. I accidentally exhausted myself. Yeah, well, I'm currently reading donations with zero energy, so we're all we're all in this together, champ. Hey, Linus. Dude, this is Linus, who canonically would rather just live in a tent. He's happy oh, being a nomad. Can you click a what, what a good guy. <laughs> Build, you can't build him a house. He gets sad by it. She's, it's Marin. Look, she's playing music. Is a walrus going to hop out of the river? Does that happen? No. No, that was a reference to Link's Awakening. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Have you met my daughter, Mary? I don't know. Maru. Why? Maru, um, she is... Oh, Maru. Mary. <laughs> is it Maru and Demetrius are married? Uh, no, Demetrius is Maru's father. <laughs> Oh, just kidding. Um, okay, they're the same family. They are. 
Um, Robin and Demetrius are married. Uh, Robin is Sebastian and Maru's mom. That's why Maru looks like Robin. (laughs) Yes. Robin is Sebastian and Maru's mom. Uh, Demetrius is Maru's dad, Sebastian's stepdad. Hey, so are we not going to talk about the guy who, like, when you walked up to him, he said, oh, I was just peering down this old mine shaft. Like, that's normal? Like, this guy's weird. Are we, why is he giving you a sword? This My guy's name's not Marlin, normal. by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. So he's so he's a LARPer. He, yes, and he sleeps in, oh no, is it his buddy that sleeps in the rocking chair all day? Yeah. He doesn't even <laughs> right. get any dialogue. Okay. No, he just, he just like, snooze in. Like, I would like to be his friend. <laughs> That's the only reason I want to be this man's friend, so I can sleep in a rocking chair all day and get away with it. <laughs> it's incredible. You found a geode! I did find a geode. We will be able to smash this open tomorrow at the blacksmith's and find something shiny to donate to the museum. Because with Clint. Um, the museum has um, hopefully been robbed of all of its artifacts, and we are responsible for finding all of them again and donating them. Sweet. So in the mines here, we have a little bit of combat. Not too hard at this point in time. Cheers. Oh, really? Oh, I had to I had to pull VLC back up real fast. I wanted to see the fight. There are stairs. Where are you going? I, I don't see if there's anything. <laughs> Oh, I thought I thought you were talking to Alyssa. It's like I am. You... I am talking to Alyssa. I'm just referencing oh. yesterday. Oh, okay. With oh. Jackson, Jackson Peroni giving Baxi flying. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it was incredible. It was good stuff. As soon as I saw that segment, I was like, if "There's one person I want in the plane with me. Definitely not Soaring Chris or Jackson <laughs> Peroni, which means that will be a great show." <laughs> Those are the two. Pe- I'm pretty sure those are the two people I would least want to have in a plane with me at any given time for two entirely different reasons. So, you remember when Jackson Perotti had the plunger on the couch and he was just suddenly in a flight simulator? Yeah, that was good. Jackson <laughs> Jackson played a lot of flight simulators growing up. He's he really he really knows his way around an aircraft. So, <laughs> I would I would trust I would trust Jackson Perotti to fly a plane if I was there. I I don't I don't know that that's true. There are there are a lot of buttons. I feel like I would leave that to the professionals. You don't need you don't need most of them though. You just hit the you just hit the zoomy button to go forward. <laughs> Click the little joystick and you're good. I I know this. See. <laughs> Have you done I, this? I know, I know these things, right? <laughs> <laughs> Noted planeologist, Zach. Melvacar has actually flown. My brother took flying lessons for not not Doug or not Pikafu. Was it uh was it like flying lessons in a plane or like flying lessons like with wings? Yeah, in a plane. Oh, okay, got it. I didn't know if it was like a Red Bull ad. It gives you wings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Icarus. <laughs> hey, what is what are these little slime things? Do they have lore? Uh, they're, they're slime blobs. They Why hurt. are they so jumpy? Why are they so jumpy and energetic? They like to hurt you. They Why? also like they to. Any lore? They don't have any limbs, so they just have to jump at you. They just have to. They just have to body slam you. We're gonna look up the the slime. They also uh, occasionally um, drop minerals, which leads me to believe that they like to eat rocks occasionally. <laughs> they also yes. have these little friends called Duggies here. They like to. Uh, it's the doggy. They like they like to pop up and eat your toes, in in a very. Um, she she playing whack a mole. Way. Yes, I'm it sounds playing like whack-a-mole. Well, these, are, these aren't malicious enemies. They're just extremely irritating. No, uh, they're I pretty mean, malicious. They aggro. She she doesn't. She has a lot of health bars still, but like it, it she hit. can get flanked. They don't respect gang fights rules. <laughs> so like. Like, they'll just all jump you at once. Well, you know, slime culture is a big street fight type of place. You know, street rules. Best man win. Looks like I have to head home for the day. I am bad at going home before midnight. <laughs> Don't they have a... Do they, do they not have a curfew in this environment? Can you just it, go it, mess around it, in the mine all night if you want? It's 2 yeah. o'clock in the morning, and then you just pass out cold. In the middle of the mine, and then the slime? Yes! Thing? Anywhere. Goodbye, cat. Jeez, that's brutal. That's brutal. All right, Zach. I think I've been hearing some donations here. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I have I have slimes and iridium up on my computer. <laughs> so we have 
We have Wolk who donated, wow, 8908 and said, comments. I'm not, I'm not actually Daisy, but I am in fact a duck. Don't be fooled by the honking noise. I'm a duck. You can't convince me otherwise. So I just want to point out, I have no context for what you're talking about. You here. have to name a duck, Wolf. All right. And how do you spell that? <laughs> it's d W O L K. It's, it's Wolk. It's like walk, but it's if Volk. you all right. Okay, it could it could be an Austrian name. You're right. It could be Volk. We will head would, would down to Marnie's today and do that. Thank you very much for your donation. Yes, thank you for your generosity. I, hey, oh. we need to stop everything as soon as you wake up and build a well. And it's not me telling you that. It's your mom because she donated forty dollars for that. Awesome. Thanks, mom. Okay. So, like, you have to listen yeah. to her, even if you weren't going to originally. We're just getting talked at by Clint for a little bit first. Yes, right, so well. he he happens to have an extra set of blueprint blueprints laying around for a furnace so we can actually smelt the ores that we have been getting in the mines here. Also, okay, um... But why right when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's waiting on your porch for you to wake up. It's <laughs> six in the morning. <laughs> can he wait a minute? Look, it's all right. He dude. fell asleep on your porch. That's where he just started his day. Romeo and Juliet. Hmm. <laughs> I'd also just like to say, um, we can't actually have Robin build anything else right now, so I'm going to use this handy dandy little thing here. That well is built now. <laughs> Where's it going? Oh, right next right to the here. other one. Yeah. Whole don't, system here. Don't have too much use for the, uh, the wells here since we have a river right here. But you know who does have use for the wells? The people that you're donating for. And the charity right. water helps every single day. I you got it. Charity pool. water. Yeah. Charity. Only charity in the world made entirely of water. 100% <laughs> of your donations go to building wells, irrigation systems, filtration systems, etc. in countries that need them most. And they work directly with the local, you know, the people, right? The denizens to make sure that the right system gets built and it gets built in a way that's appropriate for the local environment. Yeah, they put in the, the it's it's like instead of trying to dig a well somewhere where they really need rainwater catchment, they 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 specialize what kind of water project is appropriate for the community, and um, they uh, they monitor function like a well will break, you know, if, if it's a well like like the one that uh, Love's Horses Girl just built. What if that rope frays? then like it's all sure. fine and good that you've got clean water at the bottom of this but you can't get it out mm. so they actually keep track of whether the wells are working so they look at water usage um remotely and if suddenly the water usage goes way down that probably means that there's something malfunctioning and so they know to send people out to repair the well that's pretty sweet i thought that was easily the coolest part when i was you know learning more about some of the details of what they do because like for me i don't know anything about water right i just go to my faucet and i fill up my cup you know like once a week or whatever and i drink some water right <laughs> but uh like these people you know they're 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 waterologists right they're they know all their stuff they know exactly the right water for the right type of situation it's just brilliant you know i'm 70 percent water i think those people they got to be at least 95 percent water which how much with how much they know about it you know it's a duck. It is a duck. We're going to buy a duck, and it's going to go in this fancy coop right here. So thank It'll you so much, Hulk, for your donation. Here is your duck. Let's go pet your little tiny duck. I also have not yet <laughs> built a silo, so we'll... <laughs> Lou seems to have caught Rob digging through the trash. <laughs> what? Is he? What? What? Yeah. <laughs> So Sometimes you can, people, they, they other people's treasure. Things. Come on, <laughs> Rob, do, do something else, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't do that. Come on. <laughs> I oh, managed to do the trashes yesterday without getting caught, but you may have seen me going around open, opening the trash bins. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you were. It was just your job. I thought you were a sanitation professional or something. Well, sometimes you can get a baguette out of there or a Joja Cola. Yeah, but you don't want that. It's in I've, the trash. I have found a diamond in the trash before. I want that. <laughs> in real life or in the game? In the game, Zach. Hello, little wolf. I don't know what how, what diamonds you find. I don't know anything about all that. 
Walk is a little baby. Walk seems curious but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. Do they have personalities? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> do, they, do they have aspirations? Is this The Sims for ducks? What's kind going of. on here, dude? Loves, do you want to feed my cat? You just fed that duck a week's worth of food at once. <laughs> <laughs> that duck will actually not eat any of that if it's outside. It will eat this grassy, uh, this flowery grass. I also can't see the duck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> duck is in this grass gone, somewhere. <laughs> well, is Wolk is outside. You <laughs> Does the duck just follow you around? Does it just hang out with you like a little companion? No, it walks around wherever it can get to, so that's why there's an obsessive amount of fence gates, so it nice. doesn't get lost. <laughs> it's their baby gates. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> I need a doggy uh, door for my duck. Nikki Beholder to no one asks which mod you're using that causes your skill levels to show on the screen. I believe it is called Experience Bars. Oh, it's... I'm sorry, I should have read more of chat. Link and already got it. Thank you! <laughs> hey, I think they're called experience bars. I'm just going off of contest. Oh no, Mayor Lewis is so just so sad. Because he's Sweet must be good. Yeah, I, I triggered that. I was in the mines and it just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the oh, one no, cutscene. I'm this cutscene, so thanks. It's, it's the this one cutscene that uh, makes you watch all at once. So I happened to walk into town while Rob was in the mines, and now Rob is standing next to me, even though you can't see him. <laughs> this is plot. This is interesting. This is yeah. the, the lore. This is this. The Pelican Town Community Center. It used to be the pride and joy oh. of the town, always bustling with activity. Oh, dang. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, I mean, the young folk right. would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. I think we're doing both right now. Anyway. Oh, Lewis, bro, chill. You right? <laughs> How have I walked 10,000 yeah. paces while I'm talking to Lewis? Anyway. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican oh. Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, well... If anyone you don't else... think it's the alien influence? Oh no, not at all. <laughs> if anyone else buys a Joji Co membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. So we have to kill oh. the evil super corporation so Lewis isn't sad. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Let's well, go inside. Not, not necessarily kill, I think just undermine. Okay, so we just have to hamstring until they go away. We have to kill their local presence. Yep. You, you have to shop local. You just can't, you can't Amazon Prime everything. Sorry, Amazon, you are a big corporation. Thank you, Amazon, for providing the service we're streaming on right now. So there, there's this little hut in the All corner right. that Lewis is not used to. Um, he said that uh, Vincent and Jazz must be playing in here. They are the local children. You see this well, little, only two? Little, little Bobby thing? Yeah, there's only two children. <laughs> This little Bobby I think thing that's right here. the problem with this city. Like they, they don't have a good like uh, generation disparity. There's Population. like 25 people here. Yeah, it's a it's a small town. There are no stoplights. I have a baby. There, there are a few. There's two. That's There's Vincent enough. and Jazz. Sam's dad is like deployed right now. He'll be back. All right, we we'll give him time, I guess. See, it's a green bouncing rat. <laughs> Our character is so it's concerned. Not and yeah, um, it, it's not just that they, they're popping away when Lewis looks, but he actually can't see them. We uh, are... So, we're crazy. Yeah, no. he's, too, he's, he's too old. He's lost the magic. <laughs> Lewis thinks we're just crazy. I love it. He's also decided that um, we want to catch the rat now, so he's going to leave unlocked for us. He has hey, volunteered us for <laughs> this job. I love Lewis. Hey, you seem kind of wacky and like maybe a little schizo. Do you want to defend this valued building? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you want to be the guard of this extremely important building for me and my well, community? Lapidated. Yeah. Hi, Caroline. She is hounding us for not taking a day off. Um, our crops will die if we do that. They have a farmer. Die, yeah. You have to. You have to make sure things are watered and not dead every day. Hi, I would know this. That is me. <laughs> True. I yeah, true. just graduated my sustainable agriculture program. Graduated with a degree. Farm. We're at Clint's. Thank you very He's much. He's not open. Yeah, Clint opened or er, closed a few minutes ago. I can dig through his trash though. 
If you dig through the trash, you have a very small percentage chance of the lid flying off and becoming a hat. Really? <laughs> yes. I haven't seen that yet. It's incredible. And then you can't take it off, I assume. It's no, not. it's it becomes a hat. You can you can equip it or, or unequip it at, at your leisure. That's amazing. But you can't do that on purpose. The hat has to choose you. <laughs> yes. This you, guy's yeah. jacked. Do you? She jumped like ten feet in the air. You startled him. Hi, Gunther. Gunther's the, the curator of this museum. As you can see, everything is gone. But now we're going to make a groundbreaking discovery together, and we're going to find some really interesting things, like the quartz and the amethyst that I have in my inventory that will now be on display here. We also already you, <laughs> dug up a book that you from don't get to sell. Ground. Um, you can sell them. I like to donate and then sell. I legit didn't know this game had plot. I thought you just, <laughs> I thought you just like hoed your your field, like you you tilled your corn, and then like I don't know, maybe you ate it. Like that's legit what I thought happened in this game. But there, I didn't know all these people had like. There's a bathhouse that you can hang out at. There's commerce you can do. There's Sam. There's Sam. There's Sam. There's Sebastian. Oh my god, he's Sam. super Satan. Yeah. <laughs> Sam here. I'm like Sam's the coolest guy in this whole village. No. This is Mario. No, that's Sebastian. Is, oh, okay. I thought you were going to say Sam's horrible. It was going to break my heart. No. No, Sam's delightful. He rides a skateboard and he drinks Joja Cola. Uh, yeah, that's right. Hey, when are we going to when are we going to meet Sebastian then? Is he like the crab from Little Mermaid? No. No. Sebastian plays plays uh land-based video games. That's really funny. Alex likes Sports, Sports ball. <laughs> Alex, you're not busy. You're staring at a wall. His <laughs> dog's Alex, in there. You absolute jerk. You're staring at a fence. <laughs> yeah, he's not the most pleasant person until you get to know him. But then again, neither is Sebastian, who I... I don't want... Yeah. We're gonna go Sebastian's Sebastian. shy. I don't want to get to know anyone whose hobby there is staring is. at a fence. Is this Sebastian? Yes. yes. Why has he got emo hair? I guess it's the emo. <laughs> He's listened to every single Panic at the Disco album. Oh, Thanks. for sure. Also, for sure, for if, sure. If you catch him near your first day, he says, of of all the places you could choose to live, you chose Pelican Town? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. He lives with his parents. Yep. And plays he plays video games. Yep, uh, quite uh -huh. literally in the basement as well. Love yeah. it. The best. What a guy. Oh. Dr. Harvey looks exactly like Jackson Perotti to me, though. You have oh. unlocked the entire minds. That's interesting. I have not done Cheater. that. <laughs> oh, yes. let's go to one you've never gone to before. I... Go to the ice levels. Go to 80. I do love the ice oh, levels. Hey. This By is, the way, this we is had, not the ice levels. We oh. had a donation earlier of at least $60, which means <laughs> I can make something up. And I want to see you have this iridium gun or whatever it is. Sprinkler. I want you to. Oh, and so it's not a gun. No. <laughs> I can't call it. Yeah, because I, I wanted you to make a rail gun and shoot your corn with it. But if it's a sprinkler, that's that's okay. Um, I can go home and do that now, or I can do it when we walk home from the mines here. Oh, you can't do, do it in the morning. Okay, I figured stay you stay on task. Oh yeah, sorry. I figured you could make it in the mine. I figured there's iridium around here somewhere. Uh, no, that is in the skull caves, which we have not been to yet because ow. Uh, also, this will be very out as well. As soon as we it find would it. make no sense whatsoever for the mineral to be contained in the mines. That would make no sense. <laughs> Iridium is I, I, the most expensive I one in the game, why. and it has to be guided by why. the most out. That bat is yelling at you, and I don't know why, Zach. What's oh. Rob up to? Uh. I gotta be honest, I'm having some Wi-Fi issues, so I really can't do a lot. Oh no. Friend. You got the bat! Good job. That I bat was sketchy. It was flying outside of the map. Yeah, bats fly wherever they feel like it. That's not- but there's nothing- how do they do that? <laughs> it's not how walls work. Yeah, like, I understand bats fly, but that doesn't mean they're holographic. How can a holograph have knockback like that? Right. Hey, yo, so what are you hitting them with? What is that? Your this weapon? Is, rusty this sword. is the rusty sword. Okay, but it's still, like, kind of sharp, right? One I mean, to three hit points, I believe. 
I'm going to okay, get but hurt here. <laughs> I'm saying if you hit something with a sword, it, you should cut it. It should slice. <laughs> it's like I think you're hitting he's it with bouncing off the slimes right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is tennis. Yes. Well, it's a very dull blade, so she just has to like thwack it with the with the blunt side of it. Like that ghost is gonna give you a what for yeah. here. Really Everything is hurting me right now. Stuck yeah. Oh, and now you're slimy. I am very slimy. Is there don't a die. Please don't die. Can? Have a field snack. Um, is there a bathing mechanic to clean off the slime? There is a bathing mechanic, but it's to um, renew your health and energy. And yeah, not you, until you go hang out six. in a bath. A bathhouse. Epsom salt. <laughs> There is a bathing mechanic. <laughs> I need to run home. I can you, you realize that question you, was It's serious. midnight. You need to leave. Yeah, get out of there. The the ghosts really get active at midnight, I hear. <laughs> so, so would you pass out in the middle of the fight? <laughs> like, you're swinging away and it hits 2 a.m. and you just conk out? Yeah. <laughs> also, if you Great. hit zero health, um, you pass out and um, someone, <clears throat> usually either Sebastian... Uh, Marlin or Linus finds you half dead in the mines and takes you to Harvey and you get charged for emergency surgery, but you're back up and walking the next day. And, and, to do and this isn't traumatizing for anyone involved? Oh, no, not at all. Yeah. Because I feel like looks... Sebastian, <laughs> like, I, would, I would not be ready for that, but based on what I know about this character. Like, he doesn't sound ready for that yet. Uh, Linus makes sense. Linus lives next to the mines. Sure. Well, Sebastian likes to hide in the ice caves, so he he also likes to go poke the rock crabs. <laughs> Who? Yes. Sebastian? Yeah. All right, is there a therapy mechanic cuz I think this kid needs it. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dr. Harvey is a is a general practitioner, so I guess he's the closest thing to a psych psychologist that he would be able to get in this town. He's going to have to do uh telehealth to to have a therapist. <laughs> Wait for the uh, wait for the, the the COVID pandemic to come in and make telehealth a prosperous industry in this game. Yeah, right. Yes. Do they, do they have internet? They don't have internet here. Yeah, they do. How do they have LAN parties? Like he, Sebastian's a gamer. I guess. Yeah, he must do it somehow. I want, I want Sebastian. Nobody else in this town plays video games. It's just him. I really want Sebastian to be like number one in the world at Call of Duty or something. <laughs> like, I want him to just be insane. Like, just, like, pro level. He's also a freelance programmer. So. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> I bet he's really good at it, too. He's yeah, he just works from home. It's fine. This is fine. Yeah. Put down yeah. sprinkler. It's raining. Yes, yes, exactly. That is how this game works. <laughs> what did you just pick up? Was that an egg? This is a daffodil. Flower. Oh, looks like a sunny side up egg. The daffodil is a traditional spring flower that makes a nice gift. <laughs> Gra Granny and, and if you eat it, it doesn't give you any energy. Who is getting me a singular daffodil for, for as a gift? <laughs> Everyone never gets me one daffodil for my birthday. I'm going to be tripped up. Oh, I guess, <laughs> oh, I was thinking dandelions. They're actually pretty. Never mind. I thought Daffodils I thinking, can stand alone. Yeah, if someone got me a dandelion for like for my birthday, I'd be really confused. But uh, a, a, da a daffodil. Is I would like a cute girl to bring me a parsnip. Damn. Okay, Sam. I Yo, Sam yeah, needs a the... Joji Cola. He's thirsty. Dude. <laughs> I get that. I get. There's like eight people in this town, bro. But like, do y'all not have Tinder? Like, come on, man. Hey, Zach, when's your birthday? July third. <laughs> he says with. He's, he's despondent. <laughs> I believe somebody uh, somebody here has my my new address. If you would like to send me one daffodil. I'm going to get daffodils. I just premium. know it. So it doesn't wilt in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> can can you ship it? a flower? Is that even a thing? Yes, absolutely. I ship flowers all the time. All the time. Oh, That's yeah. not right. I'm known expert. You're an expert in this. You do this daily, all the time. No, my my best friend uh, married a man who thinks flowers are dumb. 
And she said, well, that's disappointing. I think flowers are delightful. And I said, excellent. I will buy you flowers for the holidays that your husband should buy you flowers. And then I don't have to come up with any more presents for you. That's honestly lit. Yeah. Like you're picking up the slack for him and you don't have to think. Yeah, Exactly. She gets flowers, which she likes. He doesn't have to buy flowers, which he likes. I get to give her a present, which I like. Mm -hmm. It's a triple win. You know what else is a triple win? What's that, Zach? $15 $15 donation, which is three iterations of five. That's how I had to tie in the triple thing, because I didn't yeah. actually have anything in my head for that. But they want you to upgrade your sword, which is good, because I also want you to upgrade your sword. Clint, Sweet. upgrade our sword. Um, Thanks, Card. Yeah, let's see here. All right, Clinty, what you got? We're for? in the right part of town for this. What kind of sword oh, do you want here? What are they? The purple are they? one. <laughs> Yeah, we have. Oh yeah, what is that? We have bone sword, dark sword, forest sword, galaxy sword, which is the really fancy one. Pirate it's a lightsaber. sword. We have the rusty sword already. We also have the steel small sword or the tempered broadsword. Can you do the lightsaber? The red one. <laughs> no, the oh, the pirate one. sword. Oh, Trina, oh. you right. The Ooh. pirate sword Ooh. makes. I will do that the pirate make... sword. That does make sense for our our theme. This isn't. This isn't Jedi theme, it is it is take to the seas theme. Hello, Clint. We are going to smash some geodes and get some regular rocks. <laughs> Dude, did you see that swing? That Damn. one oh yo, he is a beast. Oh my he god. He is. He's a barbarian. It's incredible. He like jumps in the air blast. too. Just comes down with like eight hundred pounds of force. I love Clint, dude. He's I mean he's, he's a little weird for him. Yeah, he's a little weird for hanging outside your house at 5 a.m. to give you a rock or whatever it was, but like, I don't know. He's kind of a, he's kind of a tank. I like him. <laughs> he yep, me a I'm lot. a blacksmith. My, yep. Okay. My you father was also me. a blacksmith. Right. Yes. Good. My Clint grandmother. Me of my, my, okay. So <laughs> keep going. Oh, Clint keeps stepping on Zach's lines. No, Clint. All right. Is it? Oh, was he a blacksmith? <laughs> well, was he was he was he a freaking blacksmith, Clint? I bet you can't guess what my great grandfather was. A blacksmith. <laughs> How do you know? Was he a, oh was he a blacksmith? Yeah, he was a freaking blacksmith. <laughs> Who else? You got was your mom a blacksmith? Zach, you, what were you saying, Zach? I don't freaking no. Oh yeah, I was saying Clint reminds me of my freshman year roommate. Uh, who looked exactly like that, talked exactly like that. He could probably do that to a rock if he needed to. <laughs> He's also the exact sort of person who would interrupt me 12 times and talk about what his great-grandpa did. So, Tyler, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, speaking of things that sound like Tyler, Ty Aldi donated $50 uh, with no comment, but that's, that's $50. That's something. $50. You blow Explode. up. I How believe right I now? may have been in the museum at the time, so let's see if we can do this. <laughs> In the museum? Yeah. Yes. Not, like, Sorry, Gunther. Like hey, look, look at his hat. You can't blow up that hat. That hat costs billions of dollars. I'll stand by it for fun. I, I just blew up Sebastian on the pier at the beach. So. <laughs> oh my god. I need that. His life sucks enough. Sebastian, go. He's so... Oh. He doesn't need that. Come on. Sebastian, Sebastian seems like a good guy. He's trying his best. Come on. I don't even have my fishing pole with me. That would be the ideal thing to do today, friend. You have, you, you, you know. Fish in the rain? Yeah. yeah, you can get all sorts of fancy fish. Like, for example, ooh, you can ooh. get eels when it's raining in the ocean. Does fishing, yes. like, either in the game or in real life, does fishing work better in the rain because the fish think the part above the water is in the water because of the water falling? Or, or that it's a bunch of bugs hitting the surface? Yeah, because... yeah. Yeah. yeah Google that. Do you fish better in the rain? <laughs> uh, yes, fishing is often better than normal. Wind's raining. Fifty is also higher than forty, so just because I can, I'm going to build another well. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's good. Well, that is in the flowers. Build a well. Yeah. Fishing in the rain can be quite thrilling and offers many opportunities. Here's your well. Nathan, like, it would be cold. Well, Nathan and Liz apparently really like doing it. They wrote a blog about it. Well. <laughs> Some of the best fish are caught when it rains. They don't produce any evidence for that. They're just telling me that, and I'm going to believe them. 
Like, I don't want to find out. So I'm just it's on it. the internet. It has to be true. Yeah, I mean, these people seem to do this every day. So I'm just going to trust them. Like, if you make a blog about it, you're either right or crazy. Like, there's no one, there's no in between. Like, if you're that committed to something to blog about it, like, I'm going to believe you a little bit more just because anyone who cares that much probably knows something about what they're talking about. Hmm. Keep just I don't endorse every blog in the world, though. <laughs> So I'm seeing a question in chat here. The big question is if there is more shiny fishies in the rain or not. So the mod that I have for fishing changes the system a little bit where um, the star or the quality of the fish isn't random, but rather it's based on the amount of perfects that you've gotten in a row. I think I just made up the sound of a fish. Um, so in the upper left hand corner here, you're going to see the, the streak of zero. If I don't get the fish outside of the green bar at all. Um, it'll be a perfect and it's gonna go up to a streak of one. Um, then after about three, I'm gonna start seeing um, silver starfish. And then I'm gonna see gold starfish after a few more. And then there's a chance um, with this mod for iridium starfish, um, which is not something that is in the base game, but we can get uh, super fancy fish here. Who are you? You appear to be a herring. Okay purple starfish, right? Is that not iridium? Purple star is iridium, yes. Um, it's not in the base game, but it is in the mod. Okay. Uh, I, I played this game one evening on a Shadow Temple stream when I was visiting him IRL, and then I watched Doug and Catherine play year one and half of spring year two on their stream so that's all i know about this game is vanilla from those two specific situations yes good experience i do love the base game but if you have 800 hours into it you're ready for a little bit more <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty accurate Yay, we have a perfect, so we have a streak of one perfect in a row. Oh, I want a treat. I finished my breakfast. Ooh. More perfect. You're perfect, gloves. You're perfect. Oh, thank you, Mojo. You're perfect, too. You're breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. <laughs> I'm a little bit quieter when I'm fishing because it takes intense concentration to try and get it, it does. perfect. Friend got an achievement. Ooh. Rob also caught newspaper while you were talking about how fishing works. It was very funny. <laughs> yes, you can occasionally catch uh, old glasses, broken glasses, uh, soggy newspapers, a single boot, um, broken CDs. Oh, that eel is... Popping off. Okay. Dude. Okay. Gracious. Is it, that's a, as tricky as catching a catfish. They're so wily. I think my least favorite fish that you have to catch for the, the typical um, finish the community center thing is the... What is it called? Sturgeon. It's in the mountain lake in the summer. And it is so wiggly. <laughs> it is so rare to legendary find. Legendary fish, right? That one's not a legendary. Um, it's not even legendary. It's, it's not it's even legendary. It's just wily. It's just the one step below legendary. <laughs> in just, terms of difficulty. It's, it's worse than a catfish. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's my least favorite fish to catch. Then again, I've only caught one of the legendary fish and... I mean, it was difficult. <laughs> it was definitely... Oh, I see some little bubbles. Um, if you see these little bubbles in the water, you get uh, more fish and they can be higher quality as well. I, however, cannot reach it. <laughs> Rob, you might be able to reach the bubbles if you come down here. <laughs> Ooh, Rob's taller, eel. it's true. I think he also <laughs> leveled up in fishing. 
just... I turned off my XP bar, so... Hit X. For some reason, we're checking on. Ah, the bubbles went away. Great timing. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't uh, cut yep, the I duck today! <laughs> you need... <laughs> I forgot that we have a duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I think the duck is sleeping now, but I'm gonna go see the sleeping duck anyway. You're I also... gonna wake up the duck, and the duck is gonna be so irritated. <laughs> duck doesn't actually get pets today. I also forgot to close the door yesterday, and door was still open tonight but I think there's a small chance of something going spectacularly poorly if you leave them out overnight <laughs> so I hope we still have a duck I hope all cousin not been eaten by a coyote not chancing that <laughs> oh hi little one Wolk is trying to sleep we cannot pet Wolk today, but maybe now this time I will remember that we have a duck. Wolk needs love. The well, heart is so empty. It is. <laughs> um, that is also a mod, um, Needs Loved, I believe it's called. Um, you can see whether or not you've pet an animal in a day, which is ideal if you have uh, seven animals that look identical and can't tell yes. which ones you've pet. <laughs> you just walk around trying to milk the pig. <laughs> That happens so often. So much. Let's see if there's anything else that we can sell because we like having good nights. Well, apparently I got an iridium quality anchovy. Ooh. Incredible. Fancy <laughs> Selling it. Are the higher quality ones more money? Yes. I can show you the breakdown tonight. It will break it down into what sold for what. We got a fishing rod profici proficiency. Yay! Yay! We also earned money from those eels. So, <laughs> here we go. 1600? Yeah! So we got, um... 530 gold from those five silver eels. We also got 60 gold from that uh, iridium anchovy. So can I say something absolutely hilarious? Oh, for, sure. about the, for about the last 10 minutes, I've been participating in this stream and wondering why no one was talking. I figured I was just talking at like weird times or something, and then I realized I've been on mute for at least five minutes. Zach. <laughs> Put it on your bingo card. Great, Zach like, forgot to unmute. And it's like, I am on Discord calls and video calls all day, like <laughs> 10 hours a day. How, like, how it, often? Not, like, constantly. And like, it, it is, it, it's not. It's just, it's not arrogant, it's just factual for me to say that if that was going to happen to anyone, I truly just wouldn't expect it to be me. <laughs> Which is probably why it happened to me. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> absolutely. So, Jack didn't know he was getting humble pie for breakfast. That was absolutely, <laughs> I'm going to chalk it up to the two hours of sleep. I'm, that's actually amazing. Wow, I was saying like, decently funny stuff too. I was like, oh, the, uh, the duck needs love. Oh, you gotta pet the duck. The duck needs your love. I was like going on and on about the duck. <laughs> and oh, no one know. was paying any attention. I was oh, like, no. why do you people care about the duck as much as I do? Come on, Zach, duck. we would have acknowledged your statements if we had heard them. Yes. Well, I figured also, that... take Sam a parsnip. He wants a cute girl with a parsnip. He's so <laughs> thirsty for parsnip. <laughs> why are we back on this guy? Friend, get a parsnip. Do your quest. All right. Harvest the... a parsnip. When's the romantic subplot? There, there is one. You can get married. Yeah. All right. What happens if you marry Sam? You, you guys can skateboard into your future together, and it's, it's, it's beautiful. So we do. You see, actually, you see, he teaches you how to skateboard. Oh, there Katrina a asked Zach, did you read any donations while you were muted? No. Worms. Thanks. Worms. Worms. Oh, worms. Do you have a shovel? Uh. What? What? No, the what? hoe is not with me. <laughs> so, um, there are worms on the ground that you can dig up to find shiny things. I just always forget to bring the hoe with me. 
Hey, guess what shiny things I dug up? I dug up a one dollar one cent donation from Takarash, saying, "So, what do you think to achieve in Stardew when a day is roughly twenty minutes with the allotted time?" Huh? It turns Chill out you can accomplish a lot in twenty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Productivity hacks. <laughs> Just get, get stuff done. So we found a book. You got a book. We, we There's a library. A book. Yeah, it's, it's in the, the museum. museum. It's a library, right? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Ooh, that, that's a good place for that. Well, also, Zach, there's a mechanic in this game where you actually take a bunch of stuff to the community center and those uh, green rat apple babies um, fix up the community center for you. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that was the fact that I read that nobody reacted to. So in 2016, they started making Iridium wedding bands marketed under the trademark Smithson Tenant, which is the name of the guy that discovered Iridium. Nice. This was this was more relevant when we were talking about the iridium fish, but I just still wanted to tell you in case anyone's I don't know getting married out there or something. Wonderful. Cool. We got a lot of people out there. Maybe one of oh. you is having a nice romantic time. Uh, you go hit up some iridium and you get a ring and you know, thanks Zelvathon. Uh, Trina wants to know how many books we have. I think we've picked up one, and the library has two others. Uh, I think we've picked. There's up a lot more books than two on there. Look at that. You. You were you're not good enough friends with Sam. You can't you can't go in and watch him stare at his underwear drawer. <laughs> Is that what he does? I yeah. don't know what he was doing in his room. I don't know what exactly <laughs> Sam does, but I have I have followed Emily for an entire week because I thought her wiki page was incomplete because there was so much of nothing on it. But no, she just has no life. <laughs> You're boring. Can you marry Gunther? No, you can't even talk to Gunther. So it looks like we have the Why? one default book and then two two found books. What's the default book? Tells you how to there's, get books. There's a book there, yeah. I thought it was going to be something cool. I thought it was going to be more lore. I mean, I guess the books kind of are lore. I oh, just hey, found a fish in the a trash. Coyote? Earlier, did you blow up a coyote? No. I need okay, to go pet the drop? duck! <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's because you were on the way to pet the duck, and you, like, dropped a bomb in the center of the field or something, I thought. No, I... She I, had it in her hand, and then she put it back in her pocket, I think. Uh, I, so I, yeah, took I saw it the cherry bomb, my too. Bar. I thought she was going to blow up a duck. I took okay. it off of the bar so I didn't accidentally blow up the duck. <laughs> Hi, Sam. <laughs> oh, whoops. I dropped this gigantic bomb and killed a duck. Hi, what? Sam. Here's a parsnip. You should have known you'd be the one to take this job. <laughs> take it easy. Don't end the conversation with take it easy. Also, he was twitching. Did you guys see that? Like it's multiplayer. Up. Multiplayer gets a little twitchy, it's true. Halo. Well, I think oh, Haley says structure. you're pretty! Nice makeup! Haley, that's so oh, wait. sweet! Are you even wearing Where'd any? She... I've never seen Haley before. Did she drop from the sky? Is she an angel? She's beautiful, oh my god. She, she is beautiful. She lives here in town. And she's bored. Oh, don't be bored. Talk about makeup or something. That's Get it, girls... loser. We're going that's... shopping. Haley, dude, that's what girls do. Talk about makeup. Make a friend. I don't know. So, uh, hey, Rel I, I Relius, just saw... Go ahead, go ahead, hit it. Which Relius one? is asking if there's a donation in the swear filter. I'm working on it. I, I, so I tabbed <laughs> back over. I was reading about Smith's intendant. He has a little bit of an article. And then I saw Trina's donation pop up on the VLC player on the screen. And then I remembered <laughs> I need to read donations. So, for example, <laughs> uh, $20 from Captain Trina says, Thank you for returning these very overdue books. Have some overdue fees turned donations. Oh, yeah, you're a librarian. Sweet. Thank so, 20 you, bucks, that means you disable a tool for a day. You have to turn off something. I don't. I I don't know what you need the most, but get rid of that. Good job, uh, Rob. Trina, do you want to turn something off? Huh? Oh yeah, Trina. Yeah, Trina, you can pick. You're, yeah. You Maybe also... she can downgrade it to change the quality of its tool. Like she can choose anything below the at the tier or below. Yeah, she can choose whatever she wants. It's Trina. She can do whatever she wants. It's yeah. true. And Relius chose to donate five dollars and said, "Hey guys, hey everyone, say hey to Relius." Hi, Hi Relius. <laughs> the, the audio like glitched out for a second and it sounded like everyone like just chirping up real quick, like like poyos or something. It was interesting. <laughs> anyway, uh, Relius said, "Hey, Lubs, do you stream Stardew Valley like yourself?" I do not. This is actually my first time ever attempting a stream. Well, I, I might in the future, but well. yeah. 
you think, Attempting's what? the wrong word at this point. You're just streaming. True. Yeah, okay. I mean, honestly, at this point, it's happening. Like, Wait. It just, it's like, it's been happening for like a couple hours. Like, you, it's just a thing. Alyssa, I have a very important question that no one has answered for me adequately. Can you go north? Yeah. What are those little things that look like tiny doghouse tents in that yard? You're too far north. Under Mayor Lewis's house, there's like an open patch, but by, yeah, right here, there near the doghouse. You see that little thing? Yeah. It's like a can on its side. What is this? I think it's what litter. is this? I think it's either open dog food for the dog to play in, or just. I thought they were, might be little tiny houses for the little green guys. Junimos? Um, I th what? yeah. I think they live in the hut in the community center. I'm so disappointed. I'm sad to hear that it's just trash that I've been ogling. <laughs> yeah. No, that's too small. They can't get in there. Oh, they're magic. They're magic. They're magic. It's too things. small. No, it's very thing. tiny. Very tiny. Very tiny. You know what isn't tiny? This nine dollar twenty cent donation from Argotlum, saying, "I am sickened and disturbed that someone would bury a book." I honk with rage at this affront. <laughs> wow, that's that's awesome prose you wrote there. I think that's in the Bible. Thank yes. you, Argotlum. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it is sad that we we have to dig up books. I hope they can be cleaned. <laughs> yeah. Yes. What's the lore behind why they're in the ground? Um. There's got to be a reason. Like, that doesn't just happen. No, I'm pretty sure it just happened. <laughs> no, that's not a thing. It doesn't just happen. Books don't... Books aren't subject to erosion. Like, what is that? That is currently cool. gibberish until until we uh, we meet the wizard. We, we can't read that. Do we have to learn... Do we have to learn Elvish or something? What's going on here? Well, that is actually an option in the game. Um, there are... There's... Uh, Learning Elvish? Yeah, you have to find all... all I think five scrolls in order to... Learn. Yes, squirrel. to squirrels. learn the dwarf language. Oh. You, there are four yeah. scrolls. Yes, four dwarf scrolls, and then you can then you have a new shop that you can shop at to get are lollipops. Saying, are you saying scrolls Abigail. or squirrels? Scroll, so like next, a, so, like a rolled up piece of parchment. Okay, so you you can imagine what was going on in my head when I thought you had to talk to four squirrels to learn the dwarf language <laughs> and to be like fair, what I yeah. <laughs> uh, the the wizard does kind of give you a potion of the forest and now you're one with the forest yeah the 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 uh the wizard lets you drink a magic potion and suddenly you can talk to trees it's pretty spectacular that, that's a, that exists in real life just so you know <laughs> so, so so does this like the, the, <laughs> he, he, he gives he gives you something to consume and it and it makes your it makes your vision wonky and yeah so, <laughs> Dope. I love the wizard. He's a homie. <laughs> he he lives in a tower by yeah. himself. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> I don't know He's if not I can a wizard. Go see him, but like, let's try and go see him. He's Incredible. not a wizard. He just buys his stuff from the liquor store and resells it. <laughs> like Blake and Claire really stuff. wants us to go so Zach can see. Like, I would really like to do that, to honestly. I don't know if we've gotten the thing for it yet. Oh yeah, we were testing the mega bombs over here, so the. These trees have fallen and are regrowing. <laughs> we were yeah. testing the mega bombs. <laughs> like, that's like, like they're nukes or something. Come yeah, on. we wanted to see how blowy up they were. Hi, Leah. Leah. Leah's beautiful too. Oh my god. <laughs> she is. I love her plaid. I love we her hair. Did she just ask? We both live outside of town. Does that mean something? Yeah. No. What would it mean? <laughs> it means that's where you live. That it doesn't the... mean you're in a blood hole. <laughs> we're the creative weirdos of the town. It's a lot oh, too to hear someone inside, though. Yeah, I, I, I would love oh, to. Beans. How do we? How do we get? To <laughs> can, can can Trina, it letter. means we're meant for each other. Exactly, Trina. We both live slightly outside this town. That must mean we're soulmates. <laughs> <laughs> Try that one the next time you're in a suburb to see what happens. <laughs> oh, here, here's, here's a uh, hat mouse. Hi, yo, poke. Like you this character. Kids? I don't like them. Good. Me so That's happy. so much money. <laughs> um, you know, I I um have a lot of uh cheaty money because I had to make all of those barns and have money for the animals, so why not? Are you telling me Lucky this, Bow the, the stupid mouse is selling me a bow for one thousand yes. dollars? Yes, but now look how look how bespoke we are. <laughs> what, what 
Fucking don't say that's not a, that's not an appropriate adjective for appearance. <laughs> I thought you were going to say beautiful, and then you said bespoke, and my brain actually like stopped for a second. <laughs> like Did I you break like, Mojo? Blister. Oh, Charity Water. Good morning. So awesome to see you've already raised enough to fund an entire water project. You're and welcome, Charity so Water. Awesome. Welcome to the stream. Dang right. We did it because of donations like this $9.20 from Argent Limb saying, stop setting things on fire just to see what will happen. What will happen <laughs> is fire. <laughs> you make a valid point. There's some good cause and effect logic in there. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> Remember, guys, I still want to see what happens uh, if we get to this 11,300 mark by the end of the program, because I want to go to the Skull Caves, because I've never played this game for our new viewers. Um, and yeah, as a result... It's going to be a big push, because... I know, I'm just I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this is, I, I've never played this game before, so I thought you just, like, hoed some, some beans or some potatoes and then, like, ate them or something. I thought that was the whole game. I didn't realize there was combat and lore and love stories and weird mouse people. Well, like, this game is awesome. So much happens in this game. You can you can set off a nuke. Like, this game is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> this game is just a Michael Bay movie. Like... <laughs> There's even like a sociopolitical subplot. <laughs> this is whack. There is. Yeah. And there's also a lot of like little side quests that they can send you on. Haha. <laughs> Welcome hey, to Hey, wow. Quest. Side quest. Never um, heard of that one. <laughs> Lots of fun little it's things. Two hours till bedtime. Let's go fish. That makes, that makes sense. I mean, you got to pass the time somehow. You could go You could go text Sam or something. Text your homie. Uh, yeah, we don't phones? have phones. Look, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out if you guys have internet. Like they have internet, they just don't have. They just don't have smartphones. Okay, they all have. They all have Nokia flip phones. What was the first cell phone? Let me see. He's I, googling I was, again. <laughs> I'm so excited to Google it that I almost. We should have put Zach my... Google something on the bingo card. For <laughs> real. <laughs> How did we miss this opportunity? I um I was so excited to Google that that I almost closed my entire Chrome window, <laughs> which contains <laughs> everything I need to do this this program. Um, I tried to Google first cell phone and I just Googled cell phone. So now the Chrome thinks I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, okay, so on April third, nineteen seventy three, which was a really long time ago, Motorola engineer Martin Cooper made the first ever cell phone call on the Dynatac 8000X, which is a way cooler name than current cell phones. <laughs> like, you could have a, I have a Google Pixel 3, right? That's not nearly as cool as a Dynatac 8000X. Am I right? Like, come on. Yeah, pretty much. Come on. Right? Rob, it looks like you got some fancy boots. Yeah, so I realized we, um, can just go to any level in the cave, so I just went down every ten levels and stole all the loot. <laughs> Good plan. Genius. Got lots of monies. <laughs> it's because of harvest day. It was a harvest day. <laughs> now I want to go steal First... all the loot. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta you gotta hug a duck first. <laughs> yeah, we gotta hey, hug yeah, you... You were going to do your fortune teller voice. <clears throat> Welcome to Wellwick's Oracle, the only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. I love that your fortune teller voice is just your voice with like all, all the energy you can put into it for those two <laughs> sentences. Be nice. <laughs> like you just you just crank the dial to 11 and I love it. <laughs> Hi, Marnie! Hi, Hi Conics in the chat! What's up, people? Man, the first cell phone looked like a shoe. <laughs> Still looking at this, man. It looks like a... It looks like an orthopedic shoe. <laughs> we have a cat now! We have to name this kitty! We have a cat? Hey, Hold up. Uh, I closed the screen for one second we have a cat. Hey, chat, what do we want to name the kitty? Name it Conix! <laughs> No, name it, uh, name it Anthony after the charity water ref. Ooh, I yes, like we'll that. that. Or Finn. Got... Finn's a good name. Finn, Finn is, is a good, good name. name. 
Shout outs to the Zeldathon mascot. Shout outs to I Am Error also for donating $19.33. Thank you so much. Remember, folks, 100% of your donations go directly to Charity Water, the only charity in the world made entirely of water, helping to facilitate wells, irrigation systems, filtration systems, and other wet and wild things for countries all around the world. Yes, donate uh, donate to tell us about your, your pets, and uh, Zach and I will... will say sweet um greetings to your pets for you we'll critique your we'll we'll, we'll, your we'll, we'll coo over the fact that you you live with animal companions maybe you will no uh, maybe i will oh no Watch me. oh yeah you can be thrilled about them and i'll probably make fun of their cat's name oh your cat needs hey did you love the duck today did you love the duck i have been naming this cat for two hours <laughs> Love the duck. Okay, it doesn't take that long. Make a decision and move on with your life. <laughs> I left the duck open. The, the, the duck is out here. Where? You keep leaving the you keep leaving the duck to its own devices. You don't know where the duck is. The duck is good. The duck is somewhere. <laughs> the, in the there are bed. baby gates, but then the duck is just here in this, the, f- in duck this is over forest here. of flowers. How do you know? Oh, uh, I, I saw the flowers moving. <laughs> Wolk looks Wolk, really Wolk happy tr- today. Yeah, because he, he just found you. Previously, he was wandering <laughs> and brush for eternity. Like, he probably is a lot happier now. Volk is happy because... so many books about this. Volk was lost in the frickin' jungle. I'm sure he's thrilled. Can you pick him up and put him inside? Like, no. He can't be liking this. <laughs> we cannot. Are, ducks don't... Ducks don't do well with foliage, do they? Like, do ducks even live in coops? Don't they live in the water? What um, am I not... Zach, I, Zach, I have something for you to Google. We please. Is it ducks? Yes. Is it find duck? a video. Find a video of ducks who are let out of a barn, and it's snowy outside. And and just enjoy the moment. All right. I've I've started by googling what do ducks do, <laughs> which is not giving me particularly interesting. Oh, what do ducks do for fun? You know, since since <laughs> we like didn't video. since we named our our um cat. Finn, I'm, I'm going to get a goat named Anthony for our friends over at Charity yeah. Water. This Charity Water is the goat charity yeah. and Anthony. Yes, exactly. Goat. Yeah. goat, that's the place. Friend, I like you're caught in the trash again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, so DJ Jax donated 40 bucks and said, my cats are named Skitty and Del Caddy. What? Yes, I'm the one who named them. Yes, I am the one who named them. I was 12. All right, so you you got that out of the way. You you did my part for me, Mojo. Please coo over the animals. Perfect. Enjoy those kitties. Here are some headbutts and scritches for you. Positivity on demand, folks. You're in you're side quest by the Zoltan team. What is that? that oh, that's a goat. That is not a goat, what dude. Is, that doesn't look is... anything like a goat at all. <laughs> that, that looks like a that looks like a, a Doberman pincher. Just, just draw a goat from the front. It'll be fine. It's a baby. That's not what a goat looks like, man. I'm gonna Google a goat right now. <laughs> goat. Zach, you have so many uh, tabs open. I also think that was I, a I forty dollar really... donation, correct? Yes, we need yeah, a well. Yeah, something. That, oh, we need to build a well. Well, we need a well. <laughs> Hey, fuck are you using the English language? Forty dollars, <laughs> folks. Remember, builds a well. That is what it costs to build a well in That's real life. That's not what it costs to build a well. It costs ten thousand dollars to do a water project, but for forty dollars, one person can yeah. get clean water. Not for a day, not a week, not a month, not a year. For probably the rest of their lives and on for generations. Like, like forty dollars is about what it costs in order for another person to get clean water. So as a result, we build a well in fake life so that people here can get water too. Yeah, yeah. As, a, as a way of saying thank you for giving real water to a real person. Yeah. You ah. can make potted tulips. <laughs> Zach, are you ready? Yo! Zach! Go, no, dude! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's deal with your rat problem! <laughs> 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 oh right, because the dude thought we were crazy because we saw the rats. So we, so he went and told the <laughs> wizard guy that we have a creepy weirdo going around, and the wizard's like, "I know what to do. I'm gonna give him tequila. <laughs> They'll feel better." <laughs> I would like it. to say, if anyone watching is um, very easily nauseated by moving things, or um, yeah, you might want to consider. Yeah, if you have motion away. sickness, <laughs> here's your warning. Oh God. 
Am I gonna have motion sickness? It's like nine. Maybe. Do you get badly motion sick? No, but I'm wondering if it's too early in the morning for what I'm about to do. <laughs> Oh, uh, I try and I try and redirect the peals of laughter to another corner of the room. So you don't I always think... take it. Oh, he, okay. At least it's not a pentagram. I thought for a second that was a pentagram. It's just a spaceship. All right. Ha! Ah, come in. Oh, you got the voice. All right, you got it. All you. God. I am Rosmodius, so, seeker of the arcane truths, mediator between physical and ethereal. Master of the Seven Elementals. Keeper of the Sacred Chat. If you get the point. <laughs> Has he done this enough times he doesn't want to do it anymore? It's only like six people in the town. <laughs> and you, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. It's not true. <laughs> that just can't be true. That's a sales Here. pitch. Here. I think he was friends with your grandfather. <laughs> There's also a crystal ball on the back, for the record. <laughs> oh yeah, the the grandfather was gonna come down from heaven in a chariot of fire and redeem us all. I forgot. Yes. <laughs> Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! Is it in that green over there, bro? Because I don't want that. Oh my god! It's a juniper. It squeaks. Was that was that one of the slimes from the cave? What's he no, doing? No, it's, it's, it's the here. apple rat thing. Oh my god! Right. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yes, yeah, bro, yes we have. How'd you know? How'd you know? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, <laughs> these ones. For some reason, so they refuse to speak name. with me. It's a terrible name. They leave me on red. <laughs> yeah, they really do. <laughs> I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. See, we found this that. tablet thing. Hmm? <laughs> you found a golden you scroll <laughs> written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Like Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. <laughs> you can read Bye. it. Bro, you don't have to leave. Don't. Why are you- where'd you go? <laughs> Don't leave us alone in he your house! He disapparated! Leave him alone! <laughs> Don't teleport to Asia and leave us in your house, bro! It How is that? Yeah. Bro! Chill! <laughs> you weren't even gone that long! <laughs> I found the I note! I found the note! <laughs> hey, where'd you go? You gotta tell, what are you doing? The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. Oh, good. In four seconds. It must not be that obscure, bro. We, Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will be able to see the true nature of this scroll. It's a shopping Junimo, list. These Junimos are idiots. They should speak our language. Like, if they want to communicate with us. It's a fetch quest. Yes, it, it's a long fetch quest. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? He says while staring into this bubbling cauldron. Can't be good for your eyes. <laughs> Or, or your nose, or anything in your body, bro. Aha! Look at his face. I he love his face. Aha! God, is he all right? <laughs> What's in the cauldron, bro? Like, back up. Come here! No, absolutely not, dude. No, why are you doing it? My cauldron is Give bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Yeah, yep, of course I can in. smell it. It's been doing it the whole time. <laughs> Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. <laughs> I like I love that you're you're like half laughing and trying to do a dramatic voice and all this stuff and you sound like Corella DeVille. <laughs> <laughs> Motion sickness warning. Do right now. Do we have cups? Or are we gonna use cups or are we gonna just go bobbing for, for <laughs> cauldron juice? Come on, dude. I think it you cup your hand. No, I'm not I'm not touching that. It's not like clean water. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Donate to cherry water so we can put real water in wells and not this stuff. <laughs> exactly. What's going on, man? Why is this in this game? I thought this was a farming game. <laughs> What's happening? We are this becoming one with the forest. <laughs> I thought this was a farming game. <laughs> I thought this was a. I, when I signed up to. My to VLC hang, crashed! <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> I'm terrified. Oh, you, we gained the power of forest magic. Good to, good to know. 
Just know it's so yes. easy. We've we've gained the power force magic. We can now read the scrolls. Uh, we can <laughs> read the Janima's running. shopping list. Now we're we're running away. <laughs> yes. This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. I like how we don't even say bye to this guy. We're just like, all right, thanks for the traumatic experience. See ya. <laughs> he may have had to teleport us to to the fresh air because of uh, the things that we experienced. Because we died, <laughs> so he just kicks us out. Like, oh, good luck. <laughs> it's fresh air, okay? It'll wake you up. I'd like to believe he never has any appearance. Pet your duck. Pet your goat. No, don't pet, pet the duck dead. now. You're going to give it radiation poisoning. Is it the same thing? <laughs> You're going to give the duck cancer. Don't cut it right now. <laughs> I can't. Is it the same day? How does time work? Oh, uh, that's, uh, time likes to be have... paused when we're in cutscenes. Goat has been pet. <laughs> the goat's that good. The goat's like, pet. get away from me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's not spin this duck. <laughs> this duck would not yes, like please. that. <laughs> that, duck will, that duck will get motion sickness, and then you'll have, you'll have duck mess to clean up did you just did you just imply that there's a mechanic in the game where the duck pukes <laughs> yes. you, you just implied that they animated puke for a duck i just don't know if they did that They're, it's only okay. been five days it's been five days in game it feels it like has. it's been 600 years <laughs> let's see there, um, there's puking in star tropics which is a game that's being played later this week oh God, well, i'll have to tune is. in for that R riveting content. I'll have to tune right in. It's uh, it's, it's something. Actually, they're uh, they're they're. I was gonna say prehensile, but that's not the word for it. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there there are, are hairballs that come to life and and attack you as small mobs. I mean, uh, doesn't yes. prehensile mean that they like <laughs> something can grip something? So <laughs> yes. You're yeah, kinda right. I mean, yeah. prehensile hairball. I'm close, but no cigar. A prehensile hairball sounds exactly as mortifying <laughs> as it probably is. I love Star <laughs> Tropics too. It's later on this week. It's on the thirtieth at three o'clock in the morning on uh, Eastern Standard Time. All right, I tried to Google a goat earlier, and I, I still just have a Google search for goat on my screen. <laughs> I think I was. I think I was offended by the. Uh, the appearance of the in-game goat because it looked like I believe I said a Doberman pincher. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Zach, right. have you seen Not the have you seen the meme of the medieval art that says just draw a horse from the front? How hard uh, can it be? Yes, yes, I have. Also, <laughs> I'd like to comment that I don't think I actually know what a Doberman pincher looks like. That's just the <laughs> dog I thought of. Let's Google a Doberman pincher. It's the, they have the they <laughs> get their ears knocked, doctor, and, and uh, the. Uh, you found a diamond! We found a diamond! <laughs> it's doesn't shiny! Look like, this doesn't look like a goat at all. <laughs> this doesn't look like a goat at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's not because like it's a not a goat. <laughs> but it, like, it doesn't even kind of look like a goat. It looks like a... It looks like a... Uh, a, 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 a gazelle. More than anything. A gazelle. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't animal. perhaps look like a Doberman? <laughs> no. I just, that would just be ridiculous. <laughs> Get that out of here. I don't know where you're drawing these conclusions from. <laughs> life? Oh. Life, uh, years and years of life wisdom. Do you have a gigantic by... patch of snow? You could find a dwarf scroll. I could. I, um, I still I think... oh, it says squirrel. <laughs> I, I tried to articulate it the best I could. You, like you really leaned in on the O there. The dwarf scroll. You gotta say it in like a Minnesota accent, so I know what I, you're saying. Is that Minnesota? Minnesota. Welcome to Minneapolis, Twin Cities. Is it, it's, it's half Minnesota and half Ireland. What? Go, go Vikings, have a Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> Happy St. <Saint> Patrick's Day. <laughs> Oh, there was no scrolls here. <laughs> oh, she yeah, says after blowing everything up. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth trying. This cavern, and there's no scrolls. <laughs> I have made it hurt. And I, di didn't you just move here? Yeah. Like, it, canonically, and so six, six days ago, ten days ago. Right. So, so canonically, you have creeped out what appears to be the guardian of the village by seeing. <laughs> 
dwarf ghost rats when he like didn't see them he's and then you proceed to blow up a cavern like they're gonna kick you out <laughs> he's, he's a mayor they're either gonna kick her out or make her mayor <laughs> <laughs> so the mayor hates you so you're gonna are you gonna run against him and then you so is it gonna be the well-respected longtime mayor of the town versus nuke lady because that doesn't sound like a good political campaign that is not, <laughs> that is not at all a good political campaign who was that running? Why did they sprint into their home? Oh, was it Rob? Yeah. Rob, why are you in such a hurry, dude? Because it was midnight. Because it's bedtime. Oh, okay, I get you it. can make mayonnaise. I can make what? mayonnaise. When the duck starts to lay eggs, you can make mayonnaise. Well, you can also make donations like this $19.92 from Allison Mannix saying, not going to have a chance to watch a lot this time, so have a wholesome Kirby dance poyo. Thank you so much, Allison. Thank you for your donation. I don't know what that was that you gave us. I don't know what a manic dance poyo is, but... I think it's Kirby. Manic is... Allison Manic is the name of the donor. Kirby is at $19.92. Right. So does Kirby come on the screen and, like, just, like, go go hog wild for a little bit? Uh, Tune in on the 30th at not quite barf o'clock in the morning, and you can watch a couple hours of Kirby played by Lindsay Pez. And there will be some Kirby dancing. I was talking to her about that. That's actually going to be really fun. I um I play as Yellow Kirby in Smash because that way I'm playing as the sun. So I'm, I'm into that content. I'll watch that. I've never played That's... a Kirby game before. <laughs> I've only played like six video games. I thought this was a I thought this was a farming simulator, and clearly it's a <laughs> it's a it's a Greek epic. I mean, would you like <laughs> so me to it, spend two hours watering? I could do that. Absolutely not. Like I, I <laughs> seriously, when I when I realized that this this segment, because when I when I when I when I you know when I when I signed up to hang out with you, I didn't realize I'd be doing it at eight ten in the morning after <laughs> doing six hours of content the night before. And so Zach's I, good at checking the schedule. I, I, I don't look at I don't look at things. I just do things. So I uh, I <laughs> what a good sentence. So <laughs> I um I I didn't know like what was going on, and then I realized it was at eight in the morning, and I thought, good, the only game perfectly designed to make me fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be great content. And here Instead, I am bombing this is, things. <laughs> this is, this is, you're, you're nuking the world. <laughs> you saw ghosts and then went to Merlin so he could send you to outer space on a drug trip. <laughs> this is fantastic. She's There's digging a, through the trash. You're digging oh, yeah. through the trash. She's, like, she's got a cord here. It's perfect. Like, they're completely freaking unhinged, and I love it. I like, found bones in the mines. <laughs> <laughs> you're donating the music. Gunther only likes you because you're fun. You're single-handedly funding his enterprise. I mean, that's you're right. Yeah, I, that's your that's your job. Oh, I, okay. I just donated a diamond's a diamond. worth a thousand dollars, and you just leave it at the museum. You're such a good patron of the arts. I mean, to be fair, you hacked income and have unlimited money. Oh, did you find Robin's <laughs> axe? I have not yet found Robin's axe, but she did ask us to find her axe. We, we can go on a short little adventure. Um, I remember it was the first time I ever got that quest. It took me like a week in game to find it. <laughs> it's always in the same place, it's right? It's always in the same place. It's Berryite! And Lunarite! Uh -huh. Oh, is this Clint? Is Clint going at it again? I love, yes. like, yeah, I I love how too. Clint can chop anything in the universe down in one swing. <laughs> like yes. anything it it could be anything from paper to the hardest mineral in human history like a big chunk of it and Clint in one swing can just wreck it he's an absolute tank if they ever make a fight like this, I'm playing as Clint oh, Ilya no, no Mayor Lewis has not yet asked about his shorts that would be fun <laughs> though <laughs> what? they're there though right you can go show them off they're, they're just not there. there until he shows until he oh, sends a letter isn't he like kind of an old man? Yeah, like but he loses his lucky shorts. His Brent, lucky purple uh, shorts. His so lucky like purple shorts. They're underwear, Zach. It's his underpants. No, I know. That's why I don't like where it's going. Because it sounds a little bit like sexual harassment, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Well, we have to go like, find it. I like it. You don't have to. What? You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. I just want to be clear. <laughs> That's not required. <laughs> like, no, you don't. You don't have to. 
Zach, you don't have to interact with his shorts. You just have to identify their location because I he is misplaced. Like no, you do have to pick them up. With shorts. That's a terrible verb choice, Mojo. <laughs> <laughs> Mojo, you do have to pick them up and return them to him. It's true, but you can like pick him up with a stick, right? <laughs> yeah, it's because like, you got like, sure. a plastic bag or something, right? It's like picking up like when you when you walk your dog, like you use a plastic bag, like you don't like you don't pick it up with your hands. Come on. <laughs> I like Pierre. He just hangs out and looks at seeds. He does nothing. I like Pierre. He's I like Pierre. He works for he works every day for a living. Him and Harvey. Harvey, okay. who I think is just Jackson Parody. I still haven't <laughs> seen Harvey. You still haven't showed me Harvey. He's the doctor. Um, oh, also, cool. Emily. She well, works every so... night. <laughs> and she yes, Emily works in the bar. She oh. stares at her bookcase for three hours every day. <laughs> every she day. Sews? She's a, so. she's she's a kind of haberdashery back there. She does. That is relatively new. I think that has appeared since I stalked her. Bailey is so beautiful. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Emily has like a like a blue pixie cut. She's yeah. super cute too. She is. Yeah. I, I like go, she's go say like, hi to Harvey. I like him a lot. Well, plus Emily's like edgy and cool because she like works in a he bar can be and, my mentor. and stuff. You know. Look, he's. So. he's He's got flu vaccine propaganda on the walls. I love it. He does. He, it's Jack the Parody. <laughs> we just run in. We just bust down the doors to the hospital. You, you can charting. You can barge in when they're in the middle of an appointment. <laughs> yeah, you I, can. I like how the receptionist doesn't do anything. She's like, oh, yeah, that person. They, they do that. This is Maru. She works here a few days a week. Mm. <laughs> it's a labyrinth in there. It is. Oh my gosh, yes. it's drug advertising. <laughs> oh All right. Hey, is that is that hey, is that real is that good medical advice? That is. The, yes. That is. That's great medical advice. That's that's sound. You know what else is great medical advice? When you donate to charity, you'll feel better. I'm a, to, dr I'm a to drink clean water. Well, that too. Maybe again, that's what you're providing. <gasps> Elliot, hi. The Are reason. You well? Did Going you on? see Elliot's beautiful hair? Oh no, please. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what did you use Garnier Fructis for? Oh my god. Wow. Uh, well, yes, Maru is Demetrius' daughter. <laughs> Love it. Opus the used our donation client, not shampoo, to donate ten dollars and said, Good morning to the Zeldapon team. Happy to catch you all and start donating. We're not Pokemon. You didn't catch us, you just turned on your computer. But thank, thank you. Thank you for your donation. Oh Vincent has to get his shots. He's like, don't I don't want it. We're, oh, we're gonna we're gonna oh, stick Vincent's around face. and stalk them. Vincent's well <laughs> cheesed out over there. You see his face? Well here comes Harvey looking like a brooding warlock. He looks like he's like if Jackson Prody and Fred Rogers were the same person. That's the most confusing amalgamation I've ever imagined. <laughs> it's like that's that's the only combination of people I think is that's the you know, He's gonna tag along for your appointment. This isn't allowed. We don't know <laughs> this isn't how hospitals <laughs> work. But we can't get in Harvey's way. Isn't he a little short for his age? <laughs> <laughs> No, just hold still. Take a deep breath for me. I think Why that's is Harvey smirking? His mustache is out of sync. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's going on up there? Oh, it's just hospital beds. Okay. Let's see here. Haley is just chilling up here for the day. I Hi, bought Haley. some seeds, and I don't remember if we pet the goat today. Did we pet the goat today? Not I don't remember. We didn't pet the goat, what we didn't pet it? the duck, we didn't pet the, the wizard, we didn't pet any of these people. <laughs> you didn't pet Rob, let's go. You, you gotta go pet <laughs> Rob, where are you? I have to pet you. <laughs> Is that a mechanic? <laughs> don't, don't go pet Rob in the mines, that sounds like a weird subplot. Don't be that. <laughs> no. Sam, Sam, Sam trying to go to the mines, eh? Hey. <laughs> hey, are we going to advance the romantic subplot with Sam? Uh, we do not have enough time. For not that, this week. We only have like what 10, 15 minutes left. Yeah. Love at first sight. You just, just get, just fall in love with this kid. I'm, I want to see it. No, fall in love with Sebastian. He's relatable. Oh, that is so easy. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I marry Sebastian I every time done. I play. <laughs> every single time I play, I marry Sebastian. 
Hey, Hi. didn't you make the iridium sprinkler? Yeah, it's over here. The... What? You see the purple thing? It's a sprinkler. Oh my god. Oh, oh. right. It's a sprinkler, like so it goes in the ground. I still had it in my head that it's like a rail gun. So like <laughs> I was wanting you to to pull it out and just shoot water like here. twenty feet around everywhere. It does. It shoots it shoots two whole squares around you. No, but I wanted it to happen with a press of a button in like your hand. This? Because Twelve gauge. Yes. <laughs> Yo, I'm so excited. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I love that. There you, you go, just, Zach. Oh my God, you just made it rain. I did. <laughs> oh, so excited. I'm gonna play this game just so I can shoot yes! the, my 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 water Glock. Play this game. You get in trouble if you try and court everybody at once, though. Like oh, if you if you. Yeah, but- <laughs> There's ways around that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's. A, do they have a like a Mori or a Jerry Springer? <laughs> no, they oh. just have Pam. <laughs> Who's Pam? We have a Pam, Pam, Pam's here to judge you. Oh, she oh, judges. Oh, she judges Pam. so hard. Pam, come on now. Yes. Let's, let's Why see isn't if we Pam? Why hasn't Pam come and judged us yet? Because we've done some objectively weird stuff. Because she's been <laughs> in the bar the whole time. Yeah, she's been busy. She's been oh, at the bar. Oh, she's one of them. Got it. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. It's You can remember Penny because she has hair the color of a penny. It's very easy to find her when she's walking around. If We're you're very... lost in a book, it's easy to forget about the realities of life. True. And she says, maybe that's, yeah. like why, that's why I like reading books so much. <laughs> Oh, you're so charming, I think. (laughs) (laughs) Not sure how to take that, but I think I like her. Ah, here he is. What's up, my guy? Yeah, Gus, you're right, I could. Oh, Emily is cute. Oh, dude, Emily is cute. Oh, my God. I told you. (laughs) Oh, Emily absolutely went to several all-time low concerts as a kid. Oh, I'm into it. <laughs> You're drunk now. You're I drunk am. with power, though. How did you get this much energy from a beer? Oh, I a didn't do anything today. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, what did we? What did we drink there? Hi, she Clint. Had, she had a, a, a stein of beer. Hi, Clint. Hi, I Thor. <laughs> I love Clint. Well, Clint's just walking around contemplating what he can bash next. <laughs> oh, Penny is asleep. I was going to go. That's a very roomy RV. Yeah, Yeah, it is. However, there is no second bedroom. Pam and Penny both live there. Yes. Hey. 2020. But but, uh, Penny, Pam is Penny's mom, right? Yes. Okay. Ah, Yeah. They closed. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think Penny is one of the eligible bachelorettes. Yes. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Is Emily? Yes. Yes. Yo. Do you <laughs> so is Haley. Do you, oh, yeah, true. But I don't know. Emily. Emily's more my type. Em- Emily. <laughs> Emily is. You're getting an Emily vibe. She's, yeah. Well, she's, I mean, she's charismatic. She works in a bar. She's a probably knows creature. A of, yeah, probably knows a bunch of like Mayday Parade lyrics, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> she let's, let's she has a sewing machine in her room as well, so she's she's handy and crafty that knit me a scarf or something i don't know and she likes to save birds that are hurt oh i do t- oh my god <laughs> i do too I love we have birds. found zach a waifu let's go <laughs> up, dude. i never understood how people became infatuated with anime characters until i watched the list play stardew valley for two hours and i fell in love with the assistant bartender <laughs> Hmm, man. It's like, it's it's nighttime. Where are you going? What are you doing? I have to go slap something in the mines really quick. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> yeah, you, you we don't only have a few minutes run. left, so, uh, hold on. I went to the oh, we lowest do. level that has absolutely nothing. You went too low. Let's torture me for a minute here. I have oh, no. the pirate sword. Nothing. That's, I not, like my- that's not strong enough for this level. I like how the only punishment I made in this was make a rail gun. (laughs) (laughs) You're right. That's so sad. I love it. (laughs) Make a make a grenade launcher. (laughs) I still have a Google search for the the word goat on my screen. (laughs) Why is it still? It's goat from the front. It's not just goat. (laughs) 
<laughs> no, I'm just looking at like real life pictures of goats. Just so many of them. Of uh, 15 amazing things you probably didn't know. Do you like their box? Right. Their their rectangular pupils. They're what? <laughs> goats have rectangular pupils. But why? Um, let me see. Oh, close up. They, like this one has a really. Oh, Zach, we're losing you. Zach, you're to gone. what? Oh, there you are. What are you? What your, are you talking your, to what? your audio what? went away. You're losing me to. I was gonna say you're, you're, you're losing, losing me to you the, the goat. What are you talking about? Come back. <laughs> Go away from the goat like. Like yeah, like what are you talking about? Are they eating me? Um, goats don't have teeth on their upper jaw. <laughs> do you know that? I, I do now. <laughs> Too bad you don't have mine carts. You could go home the fast way. Yeah. 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 Don't it's, have that it's, on it's too much actual progress required for that. You have to. Yeah. You have to. You have to game with intent. <laughs> you can't just fast forward through six days of the game. We're not even get get through get through one week. We've already nope. had several psychotic episodes and made six people <laughs> fall in love with us, but we haven't even exactly. been here. For a week. Um, I have previously. Just, just as a side note, made a spreadsheet for this game on who likes what gifts, so I can get them all to two hearts by the second week. Oh uh, yeah, people, people did do that. I've, I've heard about that. That's actually, that's the one thing I knew about this game is it was a farming simulator with lots of loving. Like that's the only thing I knew about it. <laughs> we sold some basil today. Was, I didn't know there was nukes and wizards and <laughs> commerce and politics. Rob, Rob's been doing some work in the background. He has. <laughs> I like how Rob's just actually like grinding this game, <laughs> like Definitely. just in the background. I wish I could talk more, but like Discord just keeps lagging on me, so I can barely hear you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sad. Rob. Yeah. We've, it's been a pleasure having you be a part of the magic, though. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I'll get things fixed up by tomorrow because I have another segment to do. Oh, no. You got it, bro. Oh, I need the scythe for that. So, um, a crow just ate one of our. I think this is um. Stole one of your seeds. Yeah, I think that's a strawberry of some sort right there. I Jerk. found some white strawberry seeds, so I naturally had to plant them. Somebody got a dwarf scroll. Wait, what? There's one in the- it's in the, um, chest. Oh, Fred dwarf got scroll? one. I still wish it was squirrels instead of scrolls. <laughs> it is but not. I know I just missed the dream, Zach. <laughs> like, it's, that would just be on par for this game. It's like, oh, the squirrels give you knowledge Bugs, of- you get like... so much mail. I do. <laughs> I can now make a potted allium. <laughs> oh, tomorrow we're holding the egg festival. I don't think we have time to see it, sadly. Oh. We could just sleep right now. We can. Yeah, you could sleep right now. Shall we? <laughs> yeah, it's like 7 a.m. Let's go. Yeah, I want to see the egg festival. That yeah, fast really forward. Well, uh, the egg festival can be the end of the thing. Yeah, we can't dance. In well, yeah, yeah we can. We, we can dance. Can we can yeah, dance dancing in that one? Yeah. No, oh, that's, that's the that's, the. No. Ah, that's the that's the other the other spring festival. fertility festival. <laughs> the fertility festival? Yeah. No, they don't call it that. <laughs> that, that is exactly what it is. They don't call. You're it welcome, that. No. Zach. Oh, <laughs> Demetrius bro. gives you the lore. <laughs> I bet he does. I bet he does. Is there a? Is there like a? Why are you not using the rail gun? You'll get more done. Because no one donated for it, so I had to show you and then delete it. She threw it away. Oh, uh, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, the uh, people who clearly aren't as interested in modern technology as I am. Bunch, <laughs> bunch of Luddites. <laughs> so I'm making time go very fast so we can potentially get over there. A dryer? What? What? <laughs> Why did they give us a dryer? <laughs> <laughs> Here, now you can do laundry. Dry <laughs> forgot rock? About <laughs> Used to dry flowers and leaves for tea making and vegetables into chips. Oh, Interesting. that kind of dryer. Yes. So I, was like, I was like, straight up. Like, is this like a, a like, dryer? Like, like, a, like a laundry line? Like, like a, a laundry clothes dryer. line? Yeah. What's, exactly. what's the word for it? Clothes you line. Can start a you can start a laundromat if you want. Business option. Rob eating a cave carrot. <laughs> Go sleep so we can go hunt some eggs, and then the segment will be over. Yeah, we yeah. did sleep. We're just waiting for it to did... start. Oh, oh it's got... the next day. Okay. 
I sped time up really fast. Wait, I can set time. Shush. Alright. <laughs> time. What time, oh, is it, what like, time does it what? start? There we go. You didn't see that. I was like, why is that person geeking out is what I was worried about. So, it's, it's Rob. So we can, we, we can buy things here. We can talk to every person in town. You but we can, can also get just go start crowd. the egg hunt. <laughs> no, go, get a, go, go put your face in the bunny thing. What? Uh, go go in the bunny statue. Yeah, where is what are it? you talking about? I forget. Just stand. Go ah, more. there it is. <laughs> Just stand there and, and take your screenshots. The best part is my VLC is mildly delayed. So all I'm hearing is that there's going to be a bunny face. Oh, okay. Yep, it's a bunny face. There, there it go. is. <laughs> yep. All right. And all right. Egg hunt. Egg, egg hunt. hunt. Egg hunt. Egg Speedy hunt. egg hunt. And while we're George doing is this... there having a bad attitude, <laughs> as usual. For... Is George like... bad at egg hunting? George, George is an old man, and he's in a wheelchair, and he's very grouchy. Oh, he... George. He he only has fun at one festival all year. Is it the fertility festival? No. It is not. It is the like the winter like New Year's Eve or something. There's one oh. of them that he's like not bah humbug. All right, George. We're doing the egg hunt. Let the egg hunt back in. And while you we're out so pace these little kids, knock them over, get the eggs. <laughs> you got to win. You got to win. Oh, you're you so much faster. You got to get eight eggs to win. Let's go. There's one. Look, you're absolutely one by the sewer. Well, while we're hunting the eggs, I just want to say, everyone, thank you so much for watching and for donating during this run. It's been so lovely to have you all here. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Zach, for reading donations. Thank you, Mojo, for hanging out. I love you all. You're thank you best. for letting us go. <laughs> thank you for thank you for educating me on this miraculous <laughs> game. Like seriously, I was just doing this because, like, you know, you're my friend, and I don't know, we'll have some fun, like doing some farming stuff, and it'll be a nice time. But this is moderately changed my perspective <laughs> Zach's like, gonna Zach's gonna play Stardew Valley for 1200 hours I'm just gonna play I'm just gonna do the nukes I'm you just have gonna 10 do... eggs holy smoke you're so good I've done you know the else a few times you know who oh, else seven. is good oh let's go Rob not bad not bad but just conics is also not bad because they donated $16.40 Thanks for the Stardew segment and then a little hearty thing. Very cute. Thank you so much, Conix. Thanks, Conix. You got like 47 eggs. If you don't win this, loves, I'm going to be so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. You got to win. Hey. hey! Let's go. Here's your prize. Take a straw hat. <laughs> well, that's that's nice. That, it is that's, cute. that's something you would wear while catching eggs. Makes sense. Yes. Are you going to go on? Ooh, cinematic! I just got through. I just did the. I saw the like the cinematic pan through. And it was very like Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Here's the hat for everyone wanting to see it really quick. Let me see. Is it cute? Oh, it's so cute! Yeah. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> cute. Oh, can you can you buy hats for other yes, people? Yes, from the Hat Mouse. Hat oh, dude. Mouse. Okay, but I don't like him. He's weird. Hat Mouse is cute. I didn't He's pet the weird. goat today. Pet the goat. I didn't pet, pet the goat, goat yesterday. The goat. <laughs> he you slept. The goat. Hey, did you know? You know Abraham Lincoln loved goats. This website is telling me that among the many pets that populated the White House were two goats. They used them for chariot rides, which is amazing. Really, kind of crazy, actually. There's right, our pet the goat. Pet the dog. I can't actually pet them because they're sleeping. But there's there's Leave goat me Anthony. Alone. I'm so tired. <gasps> Duck Wolf is big to... now. He grew up and you got an egg. We have an you egg. Got Thank you, Wolf. Egg. egg. Can you pet the egg? Oh, no, we can steal. We can steal the duck's child. Got it. Great. <laughs> no, but you make it into mayonnaise and sell it. What are you talking it. about? We should, we should make it into a duck. What do you mean? <laughs> we can make yeah, it into a duck. You can do that. That is possible in this game. You are a what? farmer. You can get an incubator and you can incubate eggs to get more... That's Poultry. what I assumed you would do with the duck egg. <laughs> Not turn it into Miracle Whip. <laughs> oh no! Oh, so that's your time. <laughs> Gee. Oh, this this is a good stopping point, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah we, I'm, I'm mortified. We're Don't good. they do dairy for here? So yes, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for donating. Thank you, friends, for hanging out. It has been so much fun. Why do you have a bomb in- Oh no. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to duck out of the call. Um, Thank you, Marta. I have to go do some I have to go do some president business stuff for the stream. Thank you again for letting me be a part of it. Thank Bye. you for hanging out. Bye, Marta. Bye, Zach. It was fun to hang out this morning. We, you got it. Jim. We will be here for another what, like 7 days? What? Uh, oh. Yeah, we have a lot of stream left to do. We have a lot of bombs left to explode. <laughs> I thought you meant us. It's like I'm not doing this for no, 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 days. no. I'm going to brunch in an hour, <laughs> and I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do more of this. I don't even know what I'm doing later. Some, whatever, whatever my phone tells me. Good luck. I, look, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what anything is. Like, things just happen around me, and I participate in them. <laughs> You guys donate in the next, uh, what, eight minutes? I'll read it. Otherwise, yeah. someone else will. And, like, maybe they'll be good at it, but, you know, maybe not. If you want to make sure, get that donation in now. I might even, like, I might even, like, Alyssa, do you want to read a donation with me if it comes up? I do not have it open. However... No, no, no I'll text oh. to you. We can read it together. <laughs> <laughs> Friend! I passed out again! <laughs> okay, so it looks like our, our next segment segment is going to be at Mythic Ocean with M. Psycho. Oh, off by that. Why is this taking so long? Did, did you just say Mythic Ocean Psycho? <laughs> uh, we have uh, Mythic Ocean with M. Psycho. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Phil. I love Phil. Oh, I don't want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being here. And we will be back with more side quests shortly. You know, Phil kind of looks like Harvey. story the first the first one didn't record so several potty breaks ago I did this and didn't capture the footage so happy side quest say hi Jane hi Jane you are watching side quest a seven-day charity marathon featuring some of your favorite games we are powered by twitch the world's top social video platform, empowering broadcasters worldwide. Thanks to Twitch's sponsorship, we are able to keep making these great marathons. Get streaming today on twitch.tv. This marathon, we are raising money for Charity Water. Charity Water is a nonprofit organization bringing clean and safe drinking water to people in developing countries. Charity Water knows that when a community gets access to clean water, it can change just about everything. It can improve health, increase access to food, grow local economies, and help kids spend more time in school. They work with local experts and community members to find the best sustainable solution in each place where they work, whether it's a well, a piped system, a biosand filter, or a system for harvesting rainwater. For every $40 donated, 
Charity Water can bring one person clean water. 100% of your donation goes to Charity Water. We also have some great shirts from the Yeti this marathon. All shirts are for sale at zeldathon.net slash store. Proceeds from every shirt purchased will be donated to Charity Water. Each shirt costs $14, and $5 of that goes to charity. We have four shirts for you this marathon. The first one is Side Quest Takes to the Seas event shirt by Jaime Ugarte. The shirt for any gamer that wants a little bit of everything we are doing here at Side Quest. We've got Sonic, The Sims, Majora, Mario, Kirby, and more. Shirt number two is Egg Drop Soup by Digitoonie. Link is making soup in Breath of the Wild using the egg from Age of Calamity. And let me say, Zelda is not too happy about that. Our third shirt is Poyo Craft by Artsy Rosie, which is a lovely shirt from Rosie featuring Kirby and Minecraft. Who doesn't love Kirby and Minecraft? A square Kirby. Looks pretty good to me. Our fourth shirt is Diddy and Dixie by Hyper Draws, which is an amazing shirt featuring the Kongs that looks radical. And they're striking a cool pose. We have prize packages for each of our 10 game blocks. When you donate $10 or more during a game block, you will be entered to win. And even better, if you donate a cumulative of $50 or more throughout the event, you will be entered to win our grand prize package, which includes an Animal Crossing New Horizons Special Edition Nintendo Switch, and other great items. You can also win prizes through our social giveaways. Throughout SideQuest Take to the Seas, check us out on our social media for giveaway posts. These giveaways are open to fans around the globe and are a great way to share the event and help raise funds for Charity Water if you're unable to donate. Speaking of social media, be sure to follow the Zeldathon Twitch channel for future events and additional content. You can also check out our website at zeldathon.net. Stay informed by following us on Twitter at Zeldathons with an S and Instagram at Zeldathon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Zeldathon, for weekly videos spanning 10 years of Zeldathon history. We also have a TikTok Follow at Zeldathon for lots of great fun videos.